It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant idiots podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God here. Uh, brilliant idiots. Andrew Schultz is gone. Where Andrew at? He in Russia still? Where he at? Australia. Yeah, He's in go. Australia. Um, but today's show is brought man. to you by Blue <laughs> E6. Oh yeah, we got some guests. We're going to get to that in one second. But today's episode is brought to you by Blue e Cigs. okay? Now look, this product contains nicotine. I got to let you know that off the bat. Nicotine is an addic- addictive chemical, but I think that's the reason you're actually using these things, right? And it's not for sale to minors, okay? Satisfying yet simple. No fuss, no fuss with refilling liquids. Just choose from a range of flavors. Pop in a liquid pod. And my blue goes with you all day, okay? Fine. My Blue in a store near you or order online MyBlue.com website restricted to adults 21 and up also Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by NBA 2K20 alright this isn't a game this is the place the game comes to learn with next level graphics gameplay player control and customization NBA 2K20 continues to redefine what's possible in sports gaming plus with its immersive open world neighborhood 2K20 is a platform for players to come together and create what's next in culture I think every woman needs to learn how to play NBA 2K20 because if they don't they're probably not gonna get the quality time they want with their man uh Right now, okay? NBA 2K20, welcome to the next, all right? And also, welcome to the Brilliant Idiots, man. Everybody that listens to us on a weekly basis. Uh, we got some special guests here. Finally, this guy has stopped fronting on the rest Yo, of his squad. This is crazy. You know what squad. I'm saying? This is crazy. We, we invited them up here before. He came by himself, you know right, what I mean? Bro. Which is crazy because he's been here by himself several times this before. Is, wow. My man, Mouse Jones, man. is here. That's and crazy. he finally bought Mac Wilds and Fly Rye. So it is officially Jeez. guys next door there we and go. not the guy next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He What's happening, my brother? Listen, yeah. when you, if you want, how, how listen, you, man? You remember what Big used to do with Lil C's, right? What? Cheers, cheers, if you want to fuck Big, you got to fuck Lil C's first? <laughs> whoa. I said C's. Wow. Also, I said Lil C's. Whoa, so whoa. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. remember, okay. Big said he fucked RuPaul before he fucked them ugly ass escape bitches. Oh, Dude, why you got to add everything? I, I'm very specific. <laughs> <laughs> you like to broaden things? I'm just I'm throwing it out there. I'm very specific in what I said. I'm just throwing it out there. First of all, the last time was not my fault. It was Taylor's fault. We, mm. we addressed that. Look, okay. look, you ready to get on the mic? Relax, did he? Back, back. Wow. That is kind of crazy. I know we mentioned wow. Biggie, but back up to you. Like, back, did. back. You don't need your ad The right last now. time right. it was Taylor for, remember, I hit you. Yeah. You was like, I said, yo, we all in town. We can make this happen. You said, oh, yeah, of course, little bro. Boom, boom. You said, hit Taylor. I hit Taylor. Taylor said, all right, I'm going to hit you and let you know. Nobody let me know. Now, uh, you texted I, now, me in now, the gym. Now, now, you now. texted me while I was in the gym and was like, you still coming? I said, I didn't hear back from you. I didn't think. I was around the corner from here. Ryan, he oh, was, gosh. I don't, he was, it, he wasn't a guy here in time. Mac, De- Mac definitely wasn't a guy Rewind here in time. You the tape. I remember saying to Mouse, well, where Ryan and um, Mac at? And you said to me, here go the bullshit. every now and then Beyonce got to go solo. <laughs> That's what you said to me, Mouse. Damn, on the first album? <laughs> you trying to good, can't even get two or three God, albums out of Y'all going to, bl- all right, bro. <laughs> but I'm glad believe- that y'all here. All right, man. Where, we, where, where do y'all want to begin? Be here. We're glad to be here, man. Where do y'all want to begin? Do y'all want to begin with uh, Takashi? Oh, oh, that? Oh, 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 oh. I don't even know who that is. Y'all know Takashi? Takashi is an amazing individual who has provided great content this week <laughs> to social media <laughs> wow. and over this I, weekend. I've been doing a fast. I, I haven't really been able to uh, see anything. Have I you, really have you seen anything? Know, I, I don't know who you're um, talking no. about. Oh, okay. Uh, you, uh, no. Nah. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know what, you're what y'all are doing right now is not what Takashi did. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Takashi saw everything and told every goddamn thing. It's nasty okay. work out here. Oh I'm my just, look, god! Look, I like to speak about one thing. If, if you're not about that life, stay, stay out, stay of, out of, of it. Life. It's easy to say that, man. And you know, I saw uh, I was watching State of the Culture and I saw Remy and Ebony K Williams going at it. And Taylor, Ooh. I want you to insert that clip. <laughs> You really should not be trying to go back into gym pop after you have given that type of Can cooperation. Can I get off of this couch while she's giving people advice and tips on how to fucking snitch? She is telling you how to snitch and y'all just sit here listening to it. Because people don't try to believe. Yeah, it's an active part don't of the Don't tell you, right? Make sure like, you get, you know, no time at all. Like, the fuck? Are you serious? Don't fucking do nothing. If you can't do no time and you don't do nothing, isn't that what I don't just said? Don't no, me. I don't said do, that. No, I literally you said, said that. How I much said, time, how can, much you time do? can you do? That means you're already in, in, in court already, right? I mean, don't do nothing. Period. Stay a law-abiding citizen. Oh, period. Well, well, that's yeah. ideal. But like, we all know that that's period. not feasible. Why? Right? Because people There's commit crimes of, every plenty, day, and there are plenty of people that never committed a crime in their lives, but and they're not being faced with the they're not being faced with the decision: should I snitch or should I do the time? Don't do 
if you have to feel like when it comes to that's what you're gonna have to do, just don't do nothing. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I didn't think either one of them were wrong. I thought it was just two different perspectives. Nah, Ebony was wrong. Well, Ebony's an attorney. So Ebony was just speaking from the perspective of if this was my client. Defending that. But you still got to be honest, though. But but, but she said. My clients. So you have to say my clients are rat. Mm -hmm. This is what I would. This is how I would help my client rat. Yeah. But don't don't try and paint it as anything else. I don't think she did. She said she she said she wouldn't encourage any of her clients to do that. But if that was the last resort and that's what they wanted to do, Mm -hmm. she would say this is how it should be done. Yo, How many how many cases Ebony won? I have no idea. How many times she tried? I don't know yeah. anything about that. What's the research? What's the research behind <laughs> that practice? Refer that stuff as an attorney. All right, never mind. I'm not going to tell you I'm a black woman. Wow. I'm just she, saying, I, that's She would crazy. have to be there to answer those questions. But she is very knowledgeable when it comes so the mad nigga that's locked up. Yes, because they locked up. <laughs> if they had her before, they probably yeah. wouldn't have done so much time to learn all that shit. They would have told. <laughs> that's funny. And what, and what Remy said makes a lot of sense. But listen, we're not going to sit here and act like some of the hardest, most gangster motherfuckers didn't turn rat. That's, 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 that's like, a fact. Like, but from, if they from, rats, from, that don't make, like, I get it. The hardest niggas turn rats. So guess what? All that hard shit, it's like you hit a hard reset. It doesn't exist. Like, Kendrick even said it like um I think it was on like section eighty. Don't y'all confuse a real nigga for you re- confuse a killer for a real nigga. The same niggas that kill a squill on you. Mm-hmm. Like just because a nigga is a killer or is a it, it, mm-hmm. is perceived to be tough, that don't mean he's stand up nigga. But think about that though. We talk. We say if you don't want to uh, if, if you don't want to end up ratting, don't commit crimes. No, just I be, ain't never murder nobody. Be, it don't matter. Be a man. If you if you gonna be a man, you gotta be a man all the way. And if you rat. That is a big knock against your your manhood don't exist okay. because it means there's a certain point where you. you'll break. Yeah, I agree. So with if you. you know you have a breaking point, don't do it. It's funny we was I was just having this conversation with somebody uh, like I was having this conversation with Justin a couple mm-hmm. of days ago, and <clears throat> I was it's, it's it's like one of the most I was I, I said if you're in this life if you're in that lifestyle. And uh, you know, you that like you're around that. It's kind of an unspoken rule. Like even even mob shit. Like the, the, what is that? The the, uh, the El, culture El Milter, Yeah, mm-hmm. the culture culture. El Milter. You can't. Them niggas got plenty of rats. Plenty, sure, but you're plenty. not supposed. You're not. I get it. The, the life got a whole bunch of niggas that go against the grain. Yeah. It's still you going against the grain. Ninety five percent of them niggas go against the grain, yo. Nah, I ain't gonna we gotta start acting like we gotta start acting like snitching is a way of this life. It is. <laughs> It is, yo. <laughs> it's a way of this life, yes. or, it's, or, or it doesn't it exist. Nah. No, man. Oh, I, I won't say ninety five percent, but I feel it's like high, it's, 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 it's a high, high percentage. It's a high but that's high. because niggas like, don't understand. Like, that's because this all boils down to what we say. We, me and you, done had these conversations before. If you not with the shits, don't Stay be with the shits. shits. Like there's gang. Stay you could be shits. a gang member and don't have to be a tough guy. You could be that a gang a member. Like this shit is more about community. At the at the essence of it, this shit is more about community it's supposed to than be. it is about oh I'm super tough. There's mad gang members on ever of all colors, blue, red, whatever. That them niggas the niggas that go to school. Yeah. Them is the niggas that put everybody in place. That's what we need. We don't need yeah. a bunch of niggas out here doing a whole bunch of crime that they gonna eventually tell on each no, other. I for. agree. I just think everybody's with the shits until they're faced with a situation where they may be in prison for a long time getting their shit pushed in. So they push that two pieces of chicken and a biscuit in your face that, and tell you. What's up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Man, I ain't gonna hold you. I, see, I ain't gonna hold you. I did see the most fire episode of First Forty Eight the other night. Yeah. Shit's fire. That, that, that show should be called the First, first Rat. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, first it's like all they do on that. That probably executive It's a high percentage because you can't really watch that show one episode without. Somebody telling on somebody. Absolutely. Not, this this last episode I seen, nigga did not tell. He still told. Nick killed his mother. White, obviously, killed his mother, <laughs> and he almost got away with it. Like the mean? nigga almost got away with it. Like it's first forty eight. It took two months to get this nigga. <laughs> <And just, laughs> I was enthralled. I was like, happened? so the nigga did the so, recap. Yeah, no, it was like it was the first forty eight was up in the first ten minutes. Yeah. They, they the nigga killed his mom. They had they had all circumstance against this nigga. They had no physical evidence against this nigga. Could not put nothing on him. Had him on video going to his mother's hotel room, coming back with her bags in her car. She's not there. He tried to like transfer bread from her account to his after she was dead. They had no way of proving a body or nothing. They put a track on this car. This nigga would not go nowhere. Two months, 
this nigga go to visit the campsite, the, the, the grave site. And that's how they caught his ass. Damn. Two months later. Because he went to go visit his mom and pour some liquor on her grave? Yeah. You killed her. What you doing oh, all that for? Oh, he buried yeah, her. Yeah, he buried her. Oh, oh right, he's right, tripping. Right, right. He's tripping. I he, thought, he, 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 I thought you had, she had a real funeral. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> First, I thought he went back to the real grave site. I ain't going to hold you. I'm worse than these. Like, I be watching shit and hoping the bad guy get away. So I the whole time, I'm like, I hope this nigga not me. I'm at the point in my life I want all these niggas in life. <laughs> Not even just niggas White bad guy Everybody If you out here doing wild shit like that Killing your mom and all that hey, that's Bye okay. I, That's the one I would not say yeah, Bye they, they, It's none of my business That ain't none of my business <laughs> I'm nobody's that mother It's none of my business Dick Gregory I'm always nobody's did, did, mother Really It's <laughs> 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 none of my business That's, that's what we're taking Gregory used to say mind, don't, don't mind white folks business but, That's what I but Dick Gregory is an amazing person. That same white dude that might kill fact. you. Fact. No, he won't. You know what I mean? Not like, me. kill your mom. Like, no, he won't. Like, that's some, some psychopathic shit. Like, some sociopathic Nah, to kill your mother, gotta be very For him personal. to go back is even crazy. Nah, he was you feeling some mother. type of. Nah, you killed it, bro. What's so you can't miss it no more? No, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's, that's, you, yeah, go by, yeah, you go by, you go that far, you, 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 have, you should not have any missing, feelings about your past. All of your missing feelings are, have been revoked, dog. Because you like, killed her? Yeah, she's done. Nigga, you're done. I when think you, you can miss her the most. You when now you really going to miss her. Now you can't now miss her Now you got a lot of time to miss her. This sound like white people problem. He might have went back just to make sure she was still buried. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Cause like the earth changes, like the body may have came up. I'm sure he ain't dig no six foot grave. I definitely want to say, yeah, but it was yeah, like in like six foot. I don't know. It was in some, it was some a white way of town. town. He wasn't gonna get ever. He wasn't. Gonna ever he get was caught. never gonna get caught. If he didn't go back, mm -hmm. he was never. And gonna guess get what? Caught. He was not gonna be on if he didn't get caught. First four years. So he wanted to get caught. Well, you'd have never saw that episode. It just got washed away. So you think he knew? He was like, nah, there's no they got way. The cameras out. He like, they got I'm it. I'm pretty catch. sure there's a couple episodes we have not seen in First 48 with somebody get away and they just don't want to air it. Nah, that ain't nah, good. That's not good content. Nah, they air them. They air them. I've seen them air episodes where they don't ever find anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, they just let saying? it go. I don't know if it's they got cold away. Because they, yeah. like, they never do the. Um, it's a cold case. Yeah, they, they never do the uh, the right. trials no more. Like, they did they, they did come out with like the first 48. And then it was like a trial series, but I guess that shit was a dub. Yeah, because they got dragged down. You don't want to see so many niggas snitching. It's like, all right. No, that's what you watching for, but you don't want to see the trial part. You oh, just want to see the nigga get the... Uh, <laughs> you want to see the nigga get the two pieces of the biscuit? Piece of biscuit. <laughs> and be like, all right, man, let me... Nobody, let me. <laughs> nigga said, well, we got this uh, Nutri-Grain bar for you. Oh, his mother... It was it was me and Johnny on, on Second Street. They purpose, though. They starve you out. Do you remember that mm -hmm. old... You remember that old black lady? That nah. she got everybody a snitch, son. I think she was from like Louisiana. I'm about to say, no, that was the Louisiana gym. Son, yeah. she would get everybody... She'd be like, now, listen now. I'm going to call your mama. <laughs> She'd be like, no, no, don't call no, my no, mom. Call I, did I, did I, did I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. First 48 should have bought the rights to 6 9 trial. Jeez. That shit would have been hard. That would have been a reboot. Yeah. That would have been fire. What if, shit what if, what if, what if, uh, what if when that person who I don't know, what if when he come home, <laughs> he becomes executive producer? Nah, I don't want to give him that much money. Fuck out of here. Max, 6 9 about to pop when he come home. He better. You gonna, what? You gonna, Max. You going to get on sing? Yo, he got to be on Am I going to get on the what? <laughs> you going to sing with 6 9 Abs <laughs> he, might, he might come out and be an R&B singer. All that singing no. he was doing on the goddamn stand. As, as, as much as he's singing on that stand, he, he might as well be an R&B singer. 6 9 going to come out and platinum pop selling. Yo, it's going to be nasty work. I can't, I, I don't, and you know who, you I don't know think who we're going to do the first interview? Charlamagne. <laughs> I don't think we, I don't think well, we ever see him. going to witness protection program. Yeah, I think so they're gonna, gonna get. Come, I think gonna gonna removed. Too. They gonna get those tattoos removed. He's gonna go into witness protection like South Dakota or something. You don't think he'll ever rap? Nah, again. I don't first think, of all, I don't first think of he'll all, ever first be seen all, again. Y'all acting like really? this nigga. Y'all acting like he's Sammy the Bull, bro. This nigga told on a bunch of niggas from Brooklyn <laughs> that nobody gives a fuck about. Wow. No, like you got to keep it a beam. No, but bro, but he's not going to South Dakota. My thing is that he's a he's going back to Bro, he's going back to Jersey. To the multi millions he has, I he's agree. gonna release Mad Records. He's gonna make even more money, and he's gonna hire the same security that he had when he was out here wilding for respect. I'm telling, you, nothing's no, gonna be different. He bro. don't have no money. He's not gonna have no money for security. That's gonna. That's yeah. where the fucked up shit. Y'all are y'all are beyond confused. You think six nine still got money? Yes. Hell no. All right. Six nine. All six nine money is going to legal fees. Bet, about to bet say. money. Bet money. To, bet money. He be lying. Six nine ain't got no money. He didn't have a lot of. He didn't, he, didn't, he wasn't out that long yeah, to make that kind was, of money nigga, when he, before he went was, in. His whole album was streaming number These one. Niggas like the don't whole, make no money off streams. Good point. But he, he, but he wasn't point. signed to it. He wasn't signed to nothing. So his money kind of grew. Nah, he no. hold on. But he even but said he it. was signed. To he said half of, half of half of, or more than half of his money went to a uh, uh, non tray. <laughs> Damn. Listen, they, they showed his bank account. It was nasty. No, nasty they did. Work. Yeah, it was like six hundred thousand, seven hundred something thousand, something like that. He's only been out for when he come home, less he, than a year. When he come home, then just know when he come home, nothing's gonna happen to him Nothing. because we're not in the age of the
Alpo lives in Harlem. That's all I'm going to say, bro. Alpo lives in Harlem. Not underneath any different name. He you know lived why, in Harlem. You know why snitches don't die no more? Because nobody want to go to jail for killing the snitch. No, because the niggas that they ratted on are in prison. Them the only people who <laughs> really they have it out for these motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, and they go yeah. on it for a like long once time. Once they hit the street, you just like, oh, he ratted. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to ruin my life killing this guy. For somebody that's already locked and up. And all the niggas yeah. that would... Ain't there no more. Everybody They're just going. wanna look tough. Everybody just wanna look tough on the All right, y'all got a point there. I was about to say, but there's still everybody just wanna look tough. True, but there's still are some nine trays out here. So Bro, uh, they not gonna do nothing to him. I'm saying if they was if they was willing and able to shoot at, at Chief Keith, somebody come It's a Chief call. Keith, bro. Like you talking about I feel like there'll be attempts. And if be it attempts. happens, it happens. I don't think so. It, I, a, I don't know. It's a spotlight on him. If you do something to him, you're going That's down. the other thing. And you know he's going to tell on you. So I, 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 I don't know, bro. Shots fired at 6 9 house. It was Jerome. I remember that him. Nigga is going, you. you remember he went to Old Block? I that remember nigga is going. That nigga is going right to your crib and pointing. Damn. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, I don't think nothing's going to happen to him either. Nothing's going to happen. But you um, think he's still going to make music? I yes. think he's definitely still going to make His music. His fan base ain't tough. His fan base is little white and Mexican kids. They don't give a shit. They don't care about none of this shit. I'm bringing a valid point here. This shit is all in points. the it, way. It actually scares me. It, it, it terrifies me that this is the way that... Bro, how, how long do yeah. you think you're going to get? He, he coming home. He's coming straight He's home. moonwalking as soon he's, as he's this like is as over. Soon as, as soon as it's done, he's 2020, he's moonwalking so? out the courtroom. Nah, I think he might do it two to three. He's already done He's getting year. time served. Yeah, so he's doing time served. He might do... I think he'll do like another year. Nope. I don't think they're just going to let him out. He's getting... No, at the at the end of the shit, at the end of that... Uh, after the last nigga gets sentenced, that nigga's moonwalking out to jail. Jesus it's Christ. It's nasty work out here. Oof. Goodness gracious. His first song will be called Moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the first song he first put out song. gonna be fire. For, hey, no, he might just he might sample Michael Jackson beat it. <laughs> might, That'll be just hard. Beat it. Nigga. Nah, yes. Now nah, the sample yo. gonna be the sample gonna be I'm telling. I'm t- yo, he's going to be good, bro. What if he embraces it? He what if is. He embraces being what if he's a the snitch? first rapper to hear that well, embraces the snitch? He's not the first to embrace snitch. To embrace it? Nah, Troy F. Okay, listen. I don't. I don't think that. Um, I don't think that. I don't think that. I don't think that. I don't think that six nine. I don't That's think none of us should be surprised about what we saw from six nine. No, absolutely you know what I'm saying? not. Absolutely like, not. Like, absolutely. And, and this is this is the lesson that all kids should learn. Because when Remy did say that shit, when she was like, "Yo, if you gonna be in this situation." Like, like, if you're not about this life, don't commit crimes. Six Nine was a prime example of a person who should not have been committing crimes. But also, more importantly, uh, Nine Trey shouldn't even have had him around that shit. That's a fact. But this is what I keep telling. What, what we've been saying: the OG's not there no more. Yeah. It is a bunch of niggas that just want bread. So they seen, a, um, they seen a money play. Am I mad at it? Yeah. No. But they when knew, you play they, stupid games, you get stupid. They knew prizes. he would. He would tell if he got caught anyway. Like no, I don't, think they, I don't think they, I don't knew, think they that, knew that. I think they would. I you think, can't. You can't think they, make they somebody was, gangster. No, and then expect them to stand up at the end of yes, the day. You, you no, because you're not paying attention. I don't think they was paying attention to that. They was paying attention to the bread. Yeah. Yep. And I think that their idea of gangster wasn't like the perception he was giving off to people via social media. I don't think they saw that. And they also now they seen it. But they, 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 they know they know, they know he wasn't putting in no work though. But so they we, also thought he was never gonna get caught. Lord have mercy. I don't know how they could think that at all. He, None of this would ever happen if if that situation didn't happen. You what know situation? what I'm saying? I, it's a it's an ongoing case, so that's why I don't be talking about it crazy. Speak. But what when he got when he got when he got kidnapped, none of this happens if you don't get kidnapped. Nah, they've been watching Nine Trey for five years. They said none of it, but they didn't have nobody to turn. That's if true. they've been watching, they the feds. If they've been watching for four years, you know yeah. something happened. They had the his, minute they were able to flip him. They flipped his and driver. The driver yeah, it was over. That kidnapping video was wild. They said Joe. ice ice came for the driver. Yep. And they was going to deport him. Yep. And then he flipped. Yep. He was like, I'm going to keep driving if I can stay here. I don't know why wow. they would trust the driver, though, because you can't even understand him when he talks. Where right, from? Why All right, bro. And I'm the worst. All right, man. No, where's he from? Yo, you that's the truth. You can't understand when he talks. I heard him. Yeah, he said, he, he said they got Takashi. <laughs> Duh, we know that. All right, you got anything else? Bro? Nigga was doing All Star like they got Takashi. <laughs> All Star said, Who? he didn't care. He was telling her everything. So you think that the kidnapping cases would, would, would cause everything? Yeah, they, I don't think they. I, me personally, yeah. I, I don't think the feds had anything. If they would have had something for in four years, they would have took them. Yeah, they don't have nothing. They don't have anybody that's that far inside like t- that boy was to flip. Once you flip him, they, he is inside. That is like you got the whole. That's operation. like flipping Taylor. That's like if 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 the other station wanted inside information, 
Flip Taylor. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah, yeah, in yeah. the mix. She she everywhere. Damn, Taylor, you Takashi now? No, nah, no, nah, Taylor talk. <laughs> nah, don't do Taylor like that. <laughs> Taylor from Philly. Taylor from Philly. She she fuck niggas from Philly. She tougher. <laughs> <laughs> you know what her nickname is? What is it? <laughs> Yo, what is state property? He jumped up. I love it. They call her in Philly. I love it. That's what they call her in Philly. State property. They call you state property in Philly. Yo, that's nasty. Okay. It's not why, but do- why? 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 Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Why you threatening people? Wow. If, I don't know anything. Wait, now you got. Know. If that's not why they call no. you state private, why they still call you state private? No, they call me state private because of him. Why they call? Why they? Call I'm him? not saying why. Do- I swear. Somebody got to tell us the podcast, no. bro. Yeah, no. come on, no. come on. Listen, the the wildest <laughs> shit about the Takashi kidnapping video. <laughs> When Takashi offered to suck their dick, that was crazy. <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't hear this shit? Yo. Nah, bro, come on, bro. Next, next, stop next stop subject, no, 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 come on, bro. Stop, stop. Don't fall Yo, into this. this, this you, you, y'all didn't play the clip? I you watched the whole clip. Man. I never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, he didn't say that, yes, bro. Yes, he did. Yo, you, He's like, I'll give you anything. I'll give you anything. I'll give you anything. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> Yo, pull it up. Pull it up. He didn't say that, bro. Yes, he did. Y'all ain't watched the whole clip. I did. I watched the whole clip. Oh, that's what he said when it said inaudible? clips in the back. When it said inaudible, that's what he was saying? But if you, it says that, but if you listen, he said. See, I told you. You can't he listen. Says, Yo, he said, I'll suck I'm you telling you, this nigga yeah, nasty yeah, works. So he going to lead us down. We do a good job of leading ourselves down terrible paths. He going <laughs> <he gonna, laughs> to drop the wall. <laughs> Mac, do you, get a lot of, do you get in a lot of trouble being on a podcast with Mouse? No. Yo, Ryan right think, there. Yeah. Why you fucking say just Mouse? Even what the fuck that's supposed to do? Because they know it's you. Not yeah. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh uh, no, nah, I don't. I don't. I really don't get into that much trouble. I, I, I which is funny and Cause funny enough. The people that he will get in trouble about just don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got you, got you, got you. They Until they realize Mac is on a podcast. Yeah. And then they'll start to listen and they'll be like, "Why are you sitting next to Mouse? He's bringing your brand down." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. I mean it like because of your rhetoric. <laughs> I'm fucking hot right now. <laughs> oh shit! You about to flip on me like Malik Yoba flipped on Blogsburg. Oh shit! Oh man. <laughs> Huh? Fuck you! <laughs> what you ain't you in the New York undercover reboot? No, don't, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't do that to me. <laughs> no, what? No, I heard. <laughs> what, what's wrong with you, man? This guy's so stupid. Say in the oh, reboot. Oh, no, sir. Score New York undercover for another no. reason. Oh, no, sir. They are doing a reboot. Uh, they were supposed to be doing a reboot. And I swear I thought they said you was part of the cast. Definitely not. No. Oh. Definitely not. <laughs> See? Not, no, that, not. No, See? In, not. In, in all defense, remember I texted you that day. They did yeah, say that. Yeah. They did. Yes. And Charlamagne not bullshitting. They did say that Mac was a part of it. Yeah. And then I was like, don't put that me. No, I'm not pointing at you. I wasn't part of the reboot. <laughs> you, know <what's> so <laughs> you know what's so fucked up? Mac from New York. Four months ago. Race. New York undercover reboot. It's like, oh, it's shit. Lit. One day, like, it only now take, it's like it only take one sorry, day. You heard that? I ain't, I ain't going, going on undercover. Me. I ain't going undercover. Nobody. <laughs> oh, you bugging up? Not me. No, <laughs> sir. Not going under the covers with nobody. That wouldn't yeah. stop you from working with nobody, though, right, man? No, hell no. Nah. Yeah, well, what you do? Is, you would be you, gay. In a, um, you would be gay in a show. In a show? Hmm. Probably like not, not a movie, a, a show. Probably, like probably not a show. Like six seasons. Probably not a show. Why, Why not? not? Probably not a show. It's too long. That's, that's a lot of shit. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, too long. Six. What? <laughs> Mac, like, I do a movie. Yo. Mac, I do no, a movie. No, no, no. I, I think... Uh, it, it would it would depend on the role. Like it would have like if it, it would have to be an actually what if an you actual came back, dynamic character. What, what if the wire came back right yeah. and Michael Lee is really the new um Omar Omar yeah it would be, and all. It, it'd be a great role to play. That'd be fire. I wonder why nobody ever tripped over. Yo, first of all, we've gotten way more homophobic. Over the years, because we've gotten we've gotten way more. A lot of the, a lot of the greatest actors had to had to had to do those. Will Smith, well, yeah, yeah, but he didn't have no. Saying? I think it was the fact that he, niggas wasn't kissing. Only my only my man is Denzel. He ain't, he ain't Denzel. No, yeah, Denzel, was Denzel, Denzel wasn't rocking with Denzel that. But I'm just even thinking about when you think about like in Living Color when they used to do the with gay Jamie Fox and, just and laugh that, yeah. at it. Or even when I quoted Biggie Men earlier, films, yeah. we never listened to them lyrics and like, oh, Biggie Wildin. No, yeah, I said that. No, you didn't. Niggas said that. No, you didn't. I, niggas said my niggas was saying that. Old niggas were saying that. Niggas was like, man, niggas in the club about? singing that shit loud when dreams used to come on. I fuck through Paul before I fuck the ugly at the skate bitches. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time I heard that shit and was like, this is what y'all was listening to? It's but but here I agree there's with you. No woman over kidding? the past couple years. There's no woman that ugly, it's, bro. It's, it's the pause game. Harlem uh, fucked yeah, it up. Yeah. Ever since, yeah, ever since that came out, you <laughs> no, can't you real. can't say nothing. So Harlem started yeah, telling. 
Holy wow. shit. And then, and then they fucked up things for the society. Mouse Jones. Cr- Mouse Jones. I'm asking. Mouse all right, bro. He's asking right. the question. He's asking. Right, Jesus Christ. This but see yes. what I go through but, now? But yes. But yes. You're right. Absolutely. All <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> Listen. Charlamagne said Harlem fucked up the game. No, I ain't saying that. <laughs> Yo, that's I crazy. said Harlem definitely started the pause game. Mm-hmm. You said they fucked but You said they started snitching. It is weird. And we, we have far as we're going to Club this weekend. It is weird how people glorify those Harlem crime bosses because a lot of them absolutely ratted. Yeah. Everybody but Guy Fisher told. Preacher told. Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas told. Yeah. Ace told. Well, AZ in, in real life, the person that played, the person that Ace was based on, he told. AZ told. Alpo told. I don't think Rich would have told, but, you know, rest in peace, Rich Porter. Um, yeah, everybody. And I just wonder why their story. Did Bumpy tell? Because he can't. Bumpy died. Yeah. yeah, he died. But what you said, you said that, um, you know, once you get caught snitching, then everything's a race. Everything's a race. So why are we telling their stories then? I don't know. Mm. I, I, that's a great question. I don't mm. know. Kids, I Mouse think, don't like paid in full. I think, yeah, I don't like paid yeah, in full. I think, I think, Mouse I think, be saying stuff like that yeah, just to say just, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, well, I can't, I think I can't like that. <laughs> it's I, weird I, to me too, but... Oh, it's I, not I, because I, I don't I, like nothing that glorifies ratting. Niggas is walking around wearing paid in full shirts. I... Niggas walk around with the shirt, well, at least in New York. The niggas walk around with that black shirt that got um Ace's face on it. He told. Oh, so you mean okay? He fucking okay. told. So you're not saying that the movie was whack? You just didn't no, like that I'm not saying the, the movie was whack. Like the movie's okay, great, but I don't like it because you are putting this in. The, either you setting these niggas up like they did not tell. Niggas is on Twitter calling themselves Ace. Niggas on Twitter calling themselves Oh, I'm such and such Ghost St. Patrick. He told like. Every Nick, shut what, up, Tim. What you was about to say, Max? No, I was. Before I was, Mouse I, cut you off, I, I didn't not, cut you off. You're not the guy's next door podcast. I don't. I'm gonna keep cutting you off. <laughs> no, I was, I was. I was. I was like. I mean, I, I guess you're right. I think the biggest. Thing, but I think the the only thing is that the stories are still stories. Um, mm, and people, true. people, 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 people latch on to stories. That you know, the, the actual person, and, uh, and a lot of times what they do not. Kind of falls to the wayside, but the stories, the um, the mythos of a, of a story, you kind of fall in love with. So I guess you gotta love like the rise and the fall, right? I'm not what I, like I love American Gangster as a movie, but the two main characters, the two is two is a police and a rat. Yeah, like that for me that looked crazy I don't he, have a problem with the police officer though. he looking too deep he he's talking about the actual person like yeah. he, it's like you wouldn't be friends with him and I get it. But as far as the movies go, movie I didn't say the movie bad. I love I love American Gangster as a movie, mm-hmm. but you're not gonna hear me calling Glo- myself Mouse also, Lucas. I'm, like, I'm, not gonna, it, I'm not gonna wear a Frank Lucas shirt. I don't want you to be next to me watching the movie talking about nah, this nigga. I don't want to hear that. All What's day. wild is that your name is Mouse. <laughs> Nah, it's cut close. Nah, my, they're two different species. You just minor told on things. It nah, was, I never told. <laughs> it was just it was he just, just got, a tattle. He was a tattle. He was a tattle. I'm where is that now? Who is? I fight everybody. I don't mind. I don't mind fighting everybody. That is interesting, though. It's just it, I guess it is based on the stories because we love the fall. We love the rise. And we love the fall. Like you look at Pain and Fall, niggas love that movie. But it's classic. Niggas told. One person no, told. No, both two niggas told. A Z told. Who was it? Ace. Ace told. Ace told for a good reason though. There is no no, I'm gonna be honest I'm with you. Okay, so I'm gonna that's, tell you so, why. So, so, hold on, so, hold on. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because this was the, this was the conversation that me and Justin was having. What is a good reason to tell? There's no good reason to tell if you in the life. For Let's keep it in paid in full for a second. Nick I kill him. Out. Let's keep it in paid in full for a second, then take it out. Okay. Right. Pause. Pause. <laughs> and you said it twice. I thought I didn't know you were double down. I let the first one go. He Nick double said, down. Nigga said, I said. <laughs> <laughs> he said double. Pow, pow. In paid in full, um, Rico. Yeah. Killed his man. Yeah. Right. He knew he killed his man. Yeah. Stole all his dope. So he know Rico already a nigga. Then the dude he told on was an undercover. No, he set him up with undercover police, right? Yeah. So I don't see what the problem was you in that don't situation. Use police, but you, he didn't tell on his connect. It don't matter who you tell on. You, you don't, don't tell. He told on somebody that did something so foul to his man. You like, don't tell. But, don't in, think, but in his mind, he didn't actually know for a fact those were police. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He did. Yes, he, did. he said that, he and he said that in the book. Uh, right. He said, I'm he not said talking it. about the book. I'm not talking about. He what said. You wrote. In the, oh, you <laughs> talking about the movie? Talking he said it. He said. 
The minute the next time he said, either them niggas are stick up kids, or yeah, he said, or they the he feds. Said either, either. He and then he know. said, it turns out that them niggas the feds. But either way, he knew that it was going to end bad for it's Rico. Like, yeah, it was going to end bad. And that's what he really Yo, wanted. Yo, there's so many other ways to handle that without getting your own hands dirty. He did get his not, hands dirty. Right, but you got, your, you got your name dirty. And once you get your name dirty, you can't clean that. You mm. get your hands dirty, you can wash that shit off. You can't clean your name. There's no... Dry cleaner in the world that could clean your name. <laughs> I just didn't think it was bad because he ain't telling. Look him. at Mr. C. <clears throat> His name is bad, right? His name is bad for for wrong. You go down to the West Village, Mr. C. Name <laughs> popping, nigga. Man. That nigga's the man. Oh, the fuck man. is you talking about? Yo, that man yo, we had an awkward, yo, we had an awkward moment after uh, the guy next door because of you and Mr. C. Too. Oh, oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, we, we finished recording and we walk out. That first rush in his. Who we just fi- finished recording with? Wax. Wax. So we me and Wa- so Ryan and Mac are sitting there, they chopping it up. You know, Mac doing his. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know that man. I wasn't chopping it with nobody. <laughs> yeah, I was in the hallway <laughs> looking chummy. I didn't even say. I didn't even say. Chummy. 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 Yeah, I was in the hallway looking chummy. I didn't say. You're not even his type, bro. Yo, shut up, shut up, shut up. You his type? No. no, I don't. Don't put me in this. I wasn't there. <laughs> you I was right there. What you I mean? I recorded my podcast. I walked out. I said no words to that man. Oh, so y'all say what's up to that legend? I did. No, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know how. That's not me. I don't just go to people. Yo. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. You, we weren't scheduled to talk. You was nothing. Like I don't know you. I'm not going up to you. That's I said I'm executive producer <laughs> of Biggie Smalls first album. I, said, I didn't look, know Biggie. He just Biggie. I didn't know Biggie. DJ. I said what's you up. You should. I said what's up. I, I didn't play your records, Mac Wild. He don't. I, I don't have records for him to play. <laughs> he don't play Mac Wild. I don't have a problem. For the record, I don't have a problem with Mr. C. He played Mac Wild. All I was ever doing was stating the obvious. I don't have a problem. All I wanted that man to do was go get a boyfriend in an apartment. That would have wow. kept him out of jail. He wanted a boyfriend. He wanted a girlfriend. Well, get whatever, whatever, whatever he was into, get that in an apartment. Uh, that's a, it. A hotel. That's it. But that's all got, I wanted that man. as soon as I walk out the room, me and Wax walk out the room, I don't even, because he had a hood on. I'm looking like, hey, why does nigga look at me with? Who this? Thought you was cute. <laughs> all right, bro. Don't my hair was down. Yeah, long hair. Exactly. Yeah, my, <laughs> hair <was laughs> my, my hair was down. <laughs> He knew exactly who you are. Mm. Who mm. is that woman with the luxurious hair and a beard? <laughs> oh, his, shit! His mustache game is, is immaculate. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm not doing this with y'all. Yo, listen. Yo. I got nothing to respect I'm just people. saying, the nigga don't like me and Wax because of you. So he looking at us, and I'm like... I don't think you know who Wax is. Everybody right. know who All Wax right, is. So. Think so? All right. Oh. All right. This is not, two, this is not 2016. Would you say you think his name... You think see name dirty? It, it, Nick, his name is dirty in the streets. You can't clean that no matter what he do. No, It doesn't matter how accepted. Well, he didn't do nothing wrong. He, essentially, he didn't. Yeah. But in society's view, just like I don't, people in society, civilians don't think snitching is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think he should have did it the way Malik Yoba did it? No, I, I, I just oh, don't man. think. I just don't no, think. That's a, that's a real question. I don't think he should have. I know because how, I don't how think did Yoba do it to you, right? <laughs> First of all. Whoa! Whoa, you talking what crazy. is going on here? Yo, we crazy. never get a video. And then, and then it, I hope you're about, did you enjoy talking about that? He said in my name. Yo, like, yo, I'm going to ask you. Hold on, Charlotte. I need a... Yo, did y'all enjoy Curl Fest this year? Because we're amazing. never going back. We're never oh getting invited God. back. What are you talking about? It's a valid question. No, all I'm saying is, he... How did he, Malik he, Yoba he do it to you? Because he just said he... he no, you, what? no, no, the way he The way he embraced himself, I guess, and yes. and, 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 and talked about it to the world. I, I think, don't like the way Malik Yoba did it. I think Mr. C eventually did do that. But mm. after he got, by his third lockup, oh, by, his t- by the third time he got arrested, <laughs> and he was on... I, I heard him on Hot 97. He was just like, this is what I do. And I think he's embraced it since then. But his name is Dirty in the street. I don't believe that. Miles? He but if he had embraced it the first time without getting caught, would it, by to who? society, would they by, look at it better? By the, by if he did what? If he just uh, said it and stuff. instead of getting caught first. Yeah, if he just, I don't I mean, think there was any space for him to... Um, I don't. I think an opportunity arose for Malik Yoba. Pause. I, I think an opportunity <laughs> arose for Malik Yoba to... Um, to, to embrace that there wasn't a moment for C to he could have said it any time nah, nah that's no, true he he I, nah if he if he would've came true. out of nowhere and said that shit it would've been over yeah, like then yeah. he really would've been can- like I'm, I'm niggas would've been like yo it's a quiet for you I'm not gonna say it would've been over but five years ago like there was yeah there was no room like what, now there's, why there's, would you there's, there's nuance that? Like, you feel what I'm saying like there's more opportunity like there was a platform for Malik over to do what he's doing now yeah so I feel like in a lot of ways the universe made it to where Mr. C yo like I, you gotta be free you got arrested three times for the same thing. That's so and deep. eventually the last person, Bimbo Winehouse, put you on video so you had to say something about it. Like I don't know why he's not leaning into it. He should be DJing all the Pride events, all How that shit. How do you not? I ain't see him on no Pride flyers. 
Not in New York. I've I've never seen a pride flyer. Where do you where do you receive those? Shout out what to email letters. I don't. I'm not on the mailing list. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I was, but I'm not on the mailing list. Uh-huh. But Instagram, Twitter, like I never see. I see pride flyer and then never see him. I'm pretty sure Mr. C's still getting booked. I don't think Mr. C's name dirty what, at I, all. I mean, I'm about to say I, I could tell you one one place I always see Mr. C getting booked. Well, like uh, one. Mac, if you say something crazy, he's gonna pop on you. No, no, no. It, it's no disrespect to Mr. C because he's definitely getting booked with the Paloozas. Who? With the Palooza. He's definitely getting booked at over there. Who okay. Palooza? Okay. Hang Palooza. Don't you host them shit? Oh no, you hosting the trap karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just know I tell you something. Hosting something with low key, man. <laughs> You don't, fuck with, you don't fuck with the Paloozas? <laughs> Why you play for me, man? Yo, no, 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 no. Yo, here's the crazy part, right? Here go the crazy part. Here go the crazy part. No, you my... and Rory squashed all Yo, that. Who? Rory! <laughs> if I have issues with any white man, we will have issues to the day I die. Till you die. <laughs> like, fuck wrong with you. I'm not dead at nothing with no. So, how do you do the trap karaoke thing? That's trap karaoke thing? is tra- Trap oh. karaoke, which is the greatest show on earth, is completely separate from. Whatever that shit is, but ain't this Yo. low key and low key ain't a ho- and low key. I'm the host of trap karaoke. Oh, I thought low key was the host. Nah, of trap karaoke. if you got one mouse Jones, you don't need two or anybody. I'm yeah. the host of trap karaoke. He do that with his man over there. They let them tag team that whatever that is. No, and I mean if that's where his son is getting booked, then that might be why I ain't seen him. I was Woo. just saying that he's getting booked. You know, my, my man's still getting <laughs> shit. Nigga saw, yo, the crazy part about this, this nigga do this here, right? And then when something go crazy, he be the first one on my line. Yo, you gotta have the serenity to let <laughs> shit. <laughs> yo, when that shit popped this earlier this year, he was on my line. That's when I knew he really fucked with me. I'm like, ah, it might be interesting. He was on my line the next morning, like, yo, I heard such, such what happened? I told him, he like, you gotta have this ring, let shit go there. <laughs> and now he do this shit right here. Like, what the fuck is I from? didn't mean anything by it. My <laughs> man just said Palooza, I thought you was doing the Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just saying the Palooza sound crazy, by the way. You Yo, gotta put a liquor in front a, of that oh, shit. Oh, you got book, to say he got booked the Palooza. He said, what? <laughs> just the Palooza sound crazy. <laughs> he said, you at the Palooza? What? <laughs> Oh my! How we get to, how we get to that from snitching though? Because I don't think what Mister C did is the equivalent of that at all. The blues is snitching. It's hand in hand. Jesus Christ! Oh, right. What am I missing? Now I'm missing this now. Ooh, talk to me about this. I, 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 dark world. <laughs> what is snitching? Dark at the blues? Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm goodness fucking gracious. I don't really. How don't did really we know. how did we travel down this road? I have we no idea. We started idea. with six it's, nine. We're to, yeah. let's, 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 Sometimes let's, where there's a fork in the road, you go straight. Jay said that. Let's go back to Matt question. What's yeah, next? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? When is it an appropriate time to snitch? There's not. That's if you not, not true. If you all right, this is what it's called. If you are civilian, you are testifying. If you are in the life, you are snitching. You There's, are rapping. Okay. There, there is never a time. I agree. There is never a time that you should be that snitching. That was good. If, you're, if, you're, if you're in the life, if you're in if you're, the life, that, that would be snitching. Yes, if you're I not call, in the life, I don't just... call civilian snitches. I never did nothing. Never been a part of doing nothing to anybody who is a civilian type. That is your dude. You supposed to do that. I agree. Now, if you a rat, if you part, if you part of the, you should not be talking to police at all. I agree. At all, I don't care what happened. There's other ways to handle your issues in that life. Than to use the police. I agree. To me, that that make you worse of a if if you not and sure it's different, but it's all the same. Sure, if you snitching to save yourself, that's one thing. If you snitching to like off your competition, that's crazy to me. Yeah, because the lines are blurred now, right? Because the other day I posted this young lady uh, who was caught up in like a sex trafficking ring, right? And I'm like, yo, it's okay if you know what this lady is to tell people. That don't make you a snitch. Like, we gotta get these sex traffickers off the fucking street. And there's people in my comments like, why is it okay to tell on this but 6 9 are off? What are you doing? Like, yo, it's too it's totally, totally different sex- things. All right. Yeah. Totally sounds different crazy. things. I don't think sex traffickers should be snitching on other sex traffickers. That's snitching. Yeah, but that's the, that's, but that's, that's their life. If, if you're a civilian and you're like, hey, you see you somebody see doing this. Don't fucking tell it. I, look, Go I, get them. I hate sex traffickers. That shit is the worst. That you got to get niggas out of here like that. But I wouldn't go to the police. I would be like, hey, civilian, you should probably 
<laughs> tell you them. should probably go. Talk. I'm going if I know it's a sex trafficking ring. I'm going to the police. Nah, I can't. And I'm, I'm taking too... the police to the house where they got all the girls. I can't. I'm a, I, got, I got. I got family. And, I got family and friends. You that's gonna still call them once you get that. there, or you gonna bring them? I'm gonna call them and say, Yo, I know where this sex trafficking shit going on. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna show give them the address and everything. <laughs> if they want me to ride along, I'm ride along. Kevin Hart. God damn it. If they want me to ride along. I'm dead serious, I'm, man. Nah, so I'm getting tight. I hate that sex trafficking shit. I'm getting shit, tight, yo. bro. That shit's crazy. That shit's crazy. They, but they I say right that. now it's terrible. They say they call it a shopping season. Like, oh, shopping, shopping season? What do you mean? Yeah, like, but yes. that, that's what I tell. No, what you mean? Well, oh, they, like, they the sex traffickers are going out here and they are clipping these little girls. Yes, going man. Like, this is the time where they are getting them the easiest. Why because, is it now? Because it's back, back to school. school? So you could catch somebody going back to school. You catch somebody coming home from school or college. You catch somebody who's new to the college going to park. This is the traveling. This is when this is when it's heightened. I should have had my yeah. homegirl Tony up here. I'm a, she she's gonna be here next week. She was here yesterday, but she she got caught up in a sex trafficking ring for like six years. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, she actually. Well, the young lady is home now. The young lady from that mm -hmm. I posted, mm -hmm. she's home now. She was in Philly. They had her dressed up like a Muslim or something about to ship her to Florida. What? But she's home now, and it's it's simply because everybody knows that circuit. So I guess it's kind of like the drug game or the. The, 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 the sex traffickers and the pe the sex traffickers and the people that partake in that life they all know they know the each other out. absolutely you know what I'm so you can make a call and be like yo that girl that y'all got y'all need to get her back whatever whatever you making it hot because you know once people start that's the other thing with mm -hmm. sex trafficking nobody talks about it <coughs> so when, once once it because they're taking there, it's like yo let's, because they're taking let's send the her back before this all goes under absolutely yeah like this one girl wow. can't knock the can't bring this whole thing down. But the shit is now because this is what goes That's back. Horrible. We gotta start taking accountability, son. As far we as we gotta be out there in our communities. We gotta be out there, like everybody on this shit. Where it's like, oh, I'm just if it don't affect me and mine, I'm not. Yeah, no, nah, if they son. like, you gotta be on that shit. Yeah, you have yeah. to. So I, you gotta I watch what's that. going on. If 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 a drug dealer snitches on a sex trafficking ring. Nothing. You supposed to take care of in a different way. Is that no? I'm, I'm asking you, yeah, you know, about you say, saying, if you don't talk to police, you should never talk to police. That's period. what I'm saying. So, so you just stay out of it. No, 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 no. no I didn't say that. I just say different way. Okay. if you oh, talk okay. to if you don't, don't talk to police, then don't talk to police. So what if you're the drug dealer and you know this guy from the sex trafficking kidnaps your daughter or your sister? Oh, he has. Nigga, I don't even. There's a movie called Taken. I will find you. And like, kill you. like there's ways to handle that. Like, <laughs> if you don't want to do it, you got money. You can make somebody hand. But you don't. Talk, if you don't talk to police, don't talk. To don't police. talk to police. So what about if somebody steal your car? You are a drug dealer. Somebody stole your car. You don't got on star. What if you don't have on star? You then got the, insurance. Then the you gotta you file a police report. No, the fuck you. Okay, don't. car accident. Nah, you gotta file a police report. Car accident. That's you're a drug you dealer. See, Car you, accident. I know Cut how you. Insurance. I know you want to take it to the the first. I level, don't talk. I, I, I in my life, that. I've never talked to police. I, I don't, don't believe to, you, Mouse. I don't even ask police for direction. Like if, if you I'm get in a car accident and the cops come, what you gonna do? Just you gonna be mute? My life is suspended, so I'm going before they get there. <laughs> they said Bobby coming home. Uh, yeah, Bobby coming home. A real nigga. On the 11th. Bobby who? Uh, December 11th, 2020. Damn, and Six Nine really wanted to do a song with him. That was Six Nine. He did a song with him. Oh, he did, didn't yeah, he? Over the phone. His, his mm -hmm. whole thing was like he wanted to uh, stay hot until Bobby came home. He said he was going to give it back to Bobby. He, he no, hot, he wanted to stay hot, hot until right. Bobby came home so he could send him back. Now, Bobby is... A, now, the, 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 see, we talk about how we're going to get rid of 6 9 How do you reward somebody like Bobby? Now, think about it. The culture. Let's talk about the culture, okay. right? Culture always about, oh, snap, snitching, no snitching. Bobby had the opportunity to motherfucking say some things and get some time shaved off. Bobby was like, hell no. And... and took. It took a bigger sentence so Rowdy so could Rowdy come home. So Rowdy would only get that word up. That nigga deserves... That's a real nigga. That, oh, okay. Look, that is a nigga who should be celebrated. Yes. That's because you were in the life, you stood tall, mm -hmm. and let your nuts hang to make sure your mans was good. Yes, that's that's that You handled... That's all, you yes. checked off the whole list. So how do you celebrate yeah, somebody like Bobby? And <laughs> she didn't have credit. For, based, based off the rules of the street. Yeah. In the hood, in the culture, he should really, like... When he come home, like... all in love. When he come home, oh, it yeah, should be a parade. A that's a fact. That's, that's, I'm, I'm trying, I mean to, that, I'm like, trying for, to book his first show. Like, when he come home, it should be it should be a parade. Like, yeah. you know, nigga, he need... If you go to the 90s and, and Flatbush, it need, need to be a, a statue of him. Need it need to be day. mirrors of him. Like Y'all yeah. need to make that he block did, he called Schmurda. He did the right nigga. thing. And, yeah. them, and all them GS niggas is like that, though. Like That's a fact. All them that's GS niggas is like that. Not just the ones we see. All of them niggas is like that. Them niggas will ride for their own. Yeah. That's the community. I remember being young running around out there and hearing about them GS niggas. And them niggas are some real niggas. Those are some of my... 
closest closest friends. That's a fact. <laughs> and those is all real ones. I can't. There's nothing wrong. We you gotta stop about saying real niggas though. Real ones. Yeah, to say real. I don't. Why? Like, I think because real niggas just got like a, a negative connotation to it simply because it's not a lot of real niggas. Everything that people say is real usually got something to do with criminal. When you say real niggas, it's usually got something to do with some criminal That's shit. That's not true. Not, it's not necessary. It's not all it's not the time always true. true. Yeah, it's not always like, true. It's real, like, especially now that we got like social media, we got nuance, you got motherfuckers like you, like us, like that's showing the full spectrum of mm-hmm. what it is to be a man. I call Mouse a real nigga because of the way he, uh, the way he's a father. Like I, 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 I put that. That makes him a real man. Yeah, but why we don't have to? We, I don't have a problem with using the word nigga unless you white. Like if you a nigga, you can say nigga, and we could. That's yeah. us. That is the way we talk amongst us. I use it, but I'm not gonna lie. I just got such a low frequency. It just feel. It don't. I'm feel not that right. rich. It don't vibrate well for you. It don't vibrate well. I'm, for I'm me. not. I'm not that rich. You gotta explain that. What, like when, what, I low say, when I say somebody's what that a real nigga, it feel like I'm kind of like it, 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 bringing it, them down yeah, a little bit. It, like it, that's it, a real. Yeah, you a real man. You a real, all right. Well, in the case of Bobby, you're a real stand up guy. You know what I'm saying? That's, sure. a, real, that's a real stand-up move. Sure, okay. I like that. I don't, real niggas, like, eh. A lot of real niggas, once they got under pressure, you realize they not real at all. They just, yeah, they, just they was just they tough. Fuck, they fucked the name Like, up, you man. just because you tough don't mean you real. You just somebody, you you just, you just, you just. You just brave. You are inept. <laughs> you're not brave. brave. You're not brave either. <laughs> you just more inept to deal with the shit than, you just more inept to do something than somebody else is. Yeah. But you're going to tell if they catch you. You get what I'm saying? Man, That's I'm why that Kendrick you, bar meant so much when I heard that shit. We don't know who's going to tell till they under pressure. That's you never fact. know who's going to fold. Know. Which is why I tell people all the time, tax said when he free tax, don't be taking pictures with these niggas, bro. I don't take pictures with niggas that's not my friends. And even them niggas, I, who, I, who is this nigga? I've asked this nigga and I've asked this nigga before we took pictures. Yo, who are these niggas? Mm-hmm. Matt, we was in Max Party. And L- was that LA, the brotherhood shit? Yeah. And it was a big picture. Like, it was like eight of us, nine of us in the picture. I mean, this nigga here the whole time, bro. Who are these niggas? Are they like, all civilians? I'm like, like, I'm like, like bro. He's, these are like, he's really doing, this like, my he's nigga, really got to do something. A brotherhood I said, this dinner. is active. But I don't, know, active, but I don't know. Everybody's them. dressed up. Yeah, yeah. Mouse, you're the only one in here with a with big a nigga. Tea. Just because. <laughs> with a white tea. I was a white tea and I was with my brother. With a big nigga and a white tee tucked in his pants just because he got. just. It just in case some shit went left. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, bro. I don't go, I'm, I'm not going to be in LA, but I'm, I don't go nowhere without my brother. Like, nah. I'm like, bro. No, but I understand. So they, looking, they, looking, they probably looking at Mouse like, who is this nigga? That's exactly. No, no, they was. They I seen the looks when I walked fact. in. It was exactly. a few niggas there that already didn't like. I was like. I had Dale come up to me and was like, yo, why, 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 is, why is Mouse like this, bro? Why is he like this? Why does he have to be like this all the time? Oh, because when I sat at the table, <laughs> Ryan, when I sat at the table and boy got up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The what? So, about is what you already know <laughs> is he brings. I won't say he brings enemies he brings into my life, energy. but he brings the energy where people look at me different because that's what I mean. But you know what that's called? What real nigga shit? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what that's what it is. That's what it is. It's real you know, nigga shit. But I didn't. I didn't really notice it until the the thirtieth time. You know, like when you start <laughs> going, when you start going places, people just start leaving or exiting uh, quiet. And they get real quiet. They real loud that he get there and they real quiet and I'm still loud like yo why are you quiet now but I really understand he puts fear in some people's hearts yeah man well I mean listen uh, an honest opinion will do that that is, and, and, that is and the only reason I didn't say it was the truth because that's really just what it is. We, we all it's just an, give it's our opinion. honest opinion. And I, don't, I, and I say that all the time. Absolutely, but I've, yes. but I've stuck up for mouth so many times oh where it's like, God. yo, it's like, they're like, yo, ride this shit, man. How can you? And I'm like, yo, look, you can't be mad at somebody's opinion. Listen, I'm, like, I'm this is an opinionated world, and if you get mad at somebody not liking this because you like it, then y'all should really have a problem. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not. I'm not gonna say no names, but I've definitely <laughs> been approached by uh by a celebrity and camps. Because of Mouse. Oh, absolutely. Really? I feel like... Oh, like I honestly also feel like... like oh, 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 I feel, voice, I, I honestly voice, feel oh, like... Oh, oh, Charlie, you know. This voice a, travels. A, a job that I was supposed to get... <laughs> got shut down. To, down. I shut. just asked you, Mac, if got, you were afraid to stand by it. Wasn't Mac, it wasn't Mac. Ryan. I know, but look what happened to Ryan. I feel like... I'm that not, wasn't my fault. Not what I'm was not the job, say got Ryan. shut down. I, mean, psh, I don't want to go into what the job was. Just say what it was. No, no, no. Because it's still there? Yeah, because it's still... You feel what I'm saying? But I had to weave out the bullshit because of him being an issue but I had to bring it together and also mind, when he came to me it's not like it's not like I'm out here poking niggas in the head no, I'm giving my opinion he's giving his opinion and if you say something so crazy so I had I'm to go to s- the other side they're like oh this your man well if this happens with your man then we gonna have to take care of it and I stepped in I said well if y'all have to step into it that's my man and I'm gonna not. I'm not jumping on your side. Yeah, that's a fact. So what we gonna do? What I'm and gonna do is and this is all is, over opinions. I'm, I want you to exactly. understand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring y'all together 
Y'all can have a conversation about it. And if y'all still have problems after that, that's beyond me. But when they talked about it, he understood that he's an opinionated person. And I don't have to like you for your opinion, but I got to respect you for not... I I can't hate you for what you said. I'll I'll, I'll tell you this. It got got better. And it's better to this day. But it's still slow. You know, it's it's, it's slow. You know, I'll tell you this. I enjoyed the show. It's... it's, uh, You are a jerk. I did. I like the show. Uh, Nigga, I know you bought merch. Um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you but, on a nigga that bought their merch <laughs> I didn't buy it oh but yeah so so no, I, back to your question uh, how do I feel about Mouse Jones it p- potentially bringing down my, my uh, brand it, it's, it's funny uh, having somebody so opinionated and uh, I guess low key so feared it doesn't like br- it doesn't bring my brand down I don't like it, that it, word. Scare it, me, it, but. It, honestly it brings it up like people are people are more on some like if he doesn't like everybody and he likes you, what is it about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. and it also, I think it it it, it, it humanizes me out, huh? Because if they don't like him, oh, what? <laughs> then they fuck they, with me. They fuck with him heavy. So it, it's like, human, and it also it humanizes somebody like Mac, right? Like where you're not seeing him or getting his opinion on certain shit or hearing him speak in a manner on a regular basis. Nigga might post his workouts on Instagram. You might see him here taking pictures. With you that's it. Mm-hmm. Now you hear him every week on a podcast talking. And not being filtered, not having to be like, oh, I'm worried about that. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it kind of humanizes that. And then, like I said, I get it, what you're saying. It's, it's more, it's more of a connection. I mean, social media is that same type of connection. But I, I but see, he don't be on there like that. Yeah, and and that's, I, I see more artists doing podcasts now. And yo, stop, stop it too. Stop. stop. <laughs> Some of them are good. No, yo. they're not. No, they're not. I'm not no, gonna they're not. Fry. I, I was listening you to probably the get money with them. No, I was listening to Ti expeditiously yeah, this I heard, week. I heard that was alright. Ti, well, well, Ti, different. Ti, Ti is the person who you yeah, would want a yeah, podcast yeah, from. I'll actually, but I'll like actually, everybody, yeah. like Give niggas do podcasts. Cause sit, all right, um, who got a podcast right now? I don't know because I'll be listening. To Hold on, I'm gonna pay some bills, and I want you to think about this. We're gonna talk about niggas that don't need to be doing podcasts. <laughs> I, wanna know the, I like that idea. I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> now, Mac, not Wilds, Weldon, uh, is a premium <laughs> men's like, essential what? brand that believes in smart design and premium fabrics, and they're way better than what you're wearing right now. Trust me, okay? Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Okay, Mac Weldon will be the most comfortable underwear. All right. Comfortable underwear is very important. Socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies and sweatpants and more that you will ever wear. Okay, they have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which means they eliminate odor. So basically, it's built in deodorizers in your drawers. All right. They want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep it and they will still refund you. No questions asked. Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks, and shirts look good, they perform well, too. It's good for working out, going to work, going out on dates, just everyday life. This is a very important note because, like, when you wear briefs in the gym, you're going to just keep putting your hand down your pants, pulling on your briefs to pull them down when you're wearing your sweats or whatever. You don't wear drawers in the gym? Mm-mm. I got to wear drawers in the gym, but I wear boxes. But actually, Mack Weldon underwear. Okay? <laughs> uh, sports, criminals, athletes you thought you knew, crimes you won't forget. I don't know what the fuck they got to do with anything. But for 20% off your first order, visit <laughs> MacWeldon.com and enter promo code Brilliant Idiots. That's M A C K W E L D O N.com. Promo code Brilliant Idiots for 20% off your first order. Now, Mouse. Yeah. Podcast. Artists that don't need to be doing podcasts. Um, who got. I don't think. That's because there's some really good ones out there. Who got pop? Because most people that, do that shit when they shit not jumping. No, that's not true. Most artists who have podcasts are artists that we already want to hear from, and they already talk a lot anyway. So, like, why not put a microphone like in front who? of your face and get paid? Ti is a perfect example. But Ti, somebody you want podcast for, I give you that. Yes. But then there's other niggas who's just not your shit, not your shit, just not jumping, and now you want to just jump in the podcast. I feel like those haven't even hit our radar right now. So that's, that's why we can't name them. That's true. Because all the ones that hit our radar are the ones that are the ones that good. are actually good. Exactly. Yeah. The ones that hit our radar, but they, they still out there. Just because I mean, they out there don't guess, mean you know nobody's listening. <clears throat> you know if what? it's whack, people yeah. going to tune in the first one or the second or one. Or fan base that, they And, and that, I'll never, I'll never shit on nobody who, who's feeding a fan base. So if you have a fan base and you just corny and, and your shit trash, but your fan base is eating it, all right, cool. I was talking about that earlier because I was talking about like being intrigued by certain people like... um. Like, you know, the six nines of the world or even the people like, you know, Boom Gang or like Candace Owens or like um, Diamond and Silk. I don't know why you name Snoop Dogg and these people I'm naming just now, Taylor. But 
Snoop got a podcast? Yeah. That's not a but podcast. It's, it's just a um That's been going on. It's the just the audio version of the GG and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I was talking about them because I was saying I'm always intrigued, whether I agree with them or disagree with them. I'm intrigued by people who are able to build an audience. Mm-hmm. Right, absolutely. Because we live in this era where you got some of the most talented people that are dope as fuck, but they can't build an audience. Sure. And they and we all start with the same starting point. You all start with that platform of social media. So why are uh, some people able to connect and build these large audiences and some aren't? I feel like people that a lot of people don't like because they say negative things to people mm-hmm. grasp a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. And I feel like there's a lot of people that feel the same way they do, but they're scared to put it on a platform. Mm-hmm. So if, if people don't really like you, but because you say so many negative things, there's so there's a lot of people that also think the way they think, Ooh. but they're scared to put it on a platform and tell it to everybody because they don't want everybody to hate them. Yeah, that's one. That's definitely one. I mean, yeah, I think I, I think a, yeah. a, a very very big thing, especially right now. Um, is is a uh, niche finding that niche i think i think uh more than anything right now niche is, is what is selling or what what people are uh drawing to like if you could find a small niche to try to fit uh to that that is yours uh um i think everybody starts to crowd around something that feels that authentic and mm. niche a lot of times yeah. people try to People try to do the same thing over and over yeah. again. Like yo, that's why. That's yo, why there's a that's, what's what's the number now? Like Chris, like it's like two point something podcast going on right now. Two point mil, two point something million podcasts in the world right now. Like Three that's why. And but, but it's like hold on. And like thirteen like, percent of them more. are original, unique content, and the rest, All of, them the rest are just, of them are trying to be everybody else. That's mm-hmm. how you. So that's, that's how you find. Problem. That's how you find your way. It's but like, if you look at it, and it's it's not it, you know it's no. I love this team over here. So it's whatever. Like. That's why loudspeaker works, right? Because you got you and Schultz who started this this mm-hmm. type of open form, uh, uh, open form, just creating conversation about whatever, mm-hmm. right? And then you got the Combat Jack show. You're rest, rest in, in peace, peace, OG Reg, and you, you're getting in depth, real Barbara mm-hmm. Walter ish interviews, interviews of yeah. these hip hop people, yeah. and it humanizes this this experience that you've looked at one way. Now you're like. Wait, that's what was going on behind the scenes? Yep. Yeah, uh, that's right. why the read works. Right. It's the fucking greatest podcast in the world. Like, that's why the read works. There's nothing else like it. Uh so so when you're doing that, and then the seeds are being planted, tax season, keep it butte. Like, then that seed is being planted, friend zone. That's like mm-hmm. a fucking whole ass therapy session on air. That's why that works. And that's yeah. why y'all have so much success. It's because niche. it's niche. Yeah. So somebody like uh when you see Joe Budden. Joe Budden is niche to me, niche to me too, because Joe Budden is like um, inside the NBA kind of right. his shit was his shit was fast track though. What do you mean? Joe was already doing the YouTube shit. He was already giving he you, had an audience. Yeah, he already had that yeah. audience that mm-hmm. was bigger than just music. Like at that time, there was fans that were just fans of his personality, mm-hmm. and then there was fans of the music. So then he gives you the podcast, and it's like. You I got get to both. Hear, I get to hear this nigga just talk about all of this shit that I want his opinion on. Didn't know I wanted his mm-hmm. opinion on for how many how many other hours? I don't care who's sitting next to him. I'm with it. So yeah, like sound like that. That's neat. Yeah, that works. I think everybody should. should you shouldn't start a podcast unless you have unless you have something that uh, you really want to say. And that and, no, unless, and, and you, have unless you have an audience. Yes, even if it's the, even if it's ten thousand people that fuck with you or five thousand people that follow you. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. Even if you gotta have an audience. Even if it's five hundred. Okay. If I'll you, give you, that, if, give you that. because that's where I started. When we started He Man Woman Hates Club, it was He Man Woman Hates Club. That was the original. I remember that. Yeah. So when we did that, I had like what five hundred, six hundred followers on Twitter. On Twitter, but we was doing five hundred, six hundred listens. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that was the audience, and it was returning. And so it was like, all right, this made sense, even though it's small. Yeah. If you just sitting in your room and yeah, you have like I don't know, I never went to college, but you have one of those conversation people like, yeah. yo, this should be a podcast. It nah. probably shouldn't. It no, probably no, shouldn't. First, first of all, nobody knows you. Right, so so at least you, I follow five hundred people. Follow you on Twitter. You tweeting, you're saying interesting shit. Mm-hmm. That's how I, that's how I even got on the text because mm-hmm. of his Twitter. Right, I'm like this motherfucker is wild. funny. He's, he's witty. Wild. Yeah, he's smart. I just want to see if he could deliver that right. in real life. Right, and and he could. So it's like if you if you are already giving people something they want via social media, why not turn it into Something. A podcast, you and know that, what I mean? That's exactly I how just ours came about. What's the point? Really? Of it? Yeah, yeah. Because it, it was just enough of us talking shit. But it was, <laughs> it, it was like, all right, let's talk shit. But let's put it on a platform. We all know we have friends that will listen. But I feel like we can, we can reach people outside of just our friends. I'm be real with you. 
our friends don't really listen to this shit. They yeah. really don't. Really, like they we really, really have core fans that listen to it. Like, nah, that, that's a lot not, of my friends will repost it just to repost it. Then they'll, they'll, they'll repost the ep- they'll repost the episode that where we said they name on it. Yeah, shit. It's, it'll be something that they'll be like, oh, this, and then they'll ask me a question, and I'll be like, you, you don't, don't listen. listen you to don't my listen podcast. To the, podcast, the only bro. way to prove that your friends don't listen is to say some foul shit about one of your friends and right come now. Back. Yes, nah, because it's gonna it's gonna get back to them. It's one way or another. We're gonna get oh, back to yeah, somebody will hear. Especially somebody our hear fans, our back. fans is like our fans have been real similar to y'all. Like they just be wilding on social media. Like they are at people. I'm like, <laughs> like, like, and like, you know, man, you I don't mind staying. Relax. I don't mind staying next to nothing I say. But then niggas that hear something, they be like, oh, he must have been talking about such and such. I'm yeah. like, who? Yo. Jesus Christ! And the thing about our podcast is we talk about relationships a lot. Mm-hmm. So the most things we get yeah, is crazy. The most things we get is. How can you make my relationship better and this and that? And it's like, yo, I'd be scared. Uh, how do y'all became relationship experts? I, we we gurus don't out here. Know. We the gurus I out here. You. I got we, I get voice notes this morning from, 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 from I don't know. <laughs> Mac was in a relationship. I, yeah. You were you in a relationship, Ryan? No. Nah. Mac, I know you in a relationship. I'm in a relationship. Are you in a relationship? No mm-hmm. oh, word. Look, you so, so, wild so, shit up. But let me tell you how fast this nigga is. It depends on when you start on a podcast. This nigga on set with my girls and this nigga talking about I thought that was with a white girl. <laughs> yo, she's tech. I'm like, yo, he's dragging it. Like, we, I just seen the nigga two weeks before, and Ty and everybody was like, oh no, it's girl. This nigga trying to set me up for the wedding. I say, yo, what's wrong with him? Just like, yo, I'm like, really? that's why I didn't feel I, bad. Look, that's why I didn't feel bad that, that they forgot to talk about you in that clip. Kyle, like, that's what the fuck which you clip? get. I forgot which <laughs> about one this is. little Nas clip. They forgot that you was spitting that hot fire. Yeah, listen, and they, I'm I was glad like, they edited a lot of shit I was saying. But now you're glad. You was hot. You was hot. <laughs> But that also goes to the space of we. There's not a lot of black millennials that talk about relationship stuff. Yeah, like it's, now, it's niggas that talk shit. But then we're 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 very open. We're honest. We don't. And then we have like just a full spectrum conversation. Tell yeah. me, what's, give me an example. What's the last thing y'all talked about that got a conversation going on social media? My um, relationship. Wait, it ain't none of y'all married. So I don't know what the fuck y'all know. Well, but but uh, oh ooh, that's great. So the clip, the clip where so there's two. So there's a clip where um we we did it purposely. We released. I asked the group. I said, um, would you be ready or would you be okay with having a child with someone and not being with them? Off rip, Absolutely. like just being with somebody. I'm like, you know what? I trust you. We can have a kid. Let's do it. Boom. Would you go we don't into need a situation a knowing that you're going to be co-parenting? So Ryan answer went viral and my answer went viral. What was your answer, bro? My right. answer was when I see myself in a relationship, I want to be able to live my life like me, have a total life by myself. I want my lady to have a total life by herself. Then we come together. We have a life together before we have a child. And mm-hmm. then we create life and have a whole nother life with our child. Okay. So I don't I don't see myself going into a relationship saying I can co-parent. I want to have my shit, have, let her have her shit. We come together, we travel to where we do our shit, and then we bring something into the world that we can do it all together. And what was your answer, Mouse? I said I could. I could um I, I would be fine with having because uh, right right now in my life, I want a child. Like I want another child. So mm-hmm. I would be fine with having a child with somebody I trust. Like I trust you enough to raise this child and all of this. We don't need to be together right now. So would you be like a, a you wouldn't be a sperm donor, right? No, because I would be in my child's life. Just not all the time. But we wouldn't. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of guys that do that shit. Once every two months. Once every two months. When trap karaoke's off the road. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> you only see I your kids fight. on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, what do you feel about that? I, I, I said, personally, I, I, the person that I want to have a child with is, is the person that I would be with. Like, I, I, <laughs> I could I could definitely see myself having a child with the person that I'm with like I but I I wouldn't want it's it's never I I wouldn't be my first thought to co-parent it would have to get to a place where I'm like okay this is the healthiest thing for us to co-parent um because I think the biggest thing that uh we have realized in in our years is uh all if if there are 10 of us in this room there are probably half of us who have parents who probably don't fuck with each other right and uh or and probably half of that the parents have stayed together to try to just keep a household together and that shit is and, more and detrimental is than more, anything exactly yeah. so you start to realize that co-parenting isn't bad but it wouldn't be my first choice it, it I, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to co-parenting, but it definitely wouldn't be my first. Choice. Yeah, I don't want no. I'm glad I don't got no baby mamas. Salute all, uh, you know the yeah, women, relax, that, the women that have had abortions. Relax for me. What? No, I'm serious because I would not want no baby mamas. I feel Gunshot like in order to no, for yeah, my baby mama fire. Don't do that. But my that's another thing. Fire. No, but I'm. It comes from three aspects of it. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, he has 
two children and he's not with his baby mother. He's with mm. another woman. He doesn't have any kids, but he's in a relationship. Yeah. I have no kids and I'm not in a relationship. So it's three different things. He can say he would co-parent because he's co-parented now. Yeah. And that works for him in his life. Not saying I can't, but that's not the first thing I want to do with my first any child I that I have. I just feel like with kids, you got to micromanage them, yo. Like you got to yeah, be on the top of them, man. But, but how would, every day. What I would say, what, so what I would say to challenge that is sure, if you're living an average nine to five life. Mm -hmm. In our life where we're traveling, doing things. Essentially, you'd be going that time anyway. Great point, but I'm gonna tell you something. You got to make the time. I was just, I literally was just having this conversation yesterday with Angela Rye because I was talking about, um, like my first daughter. My first daughter was born June of 2008. Then I got fired from Wendy November of 08. So it's mm -hmm. like her. I didn't get another gig till like May of 09. I went through the same. I know exactly what you're saying. Her yeah. Life. I was the one. My wife was going to work. I'm the one changing. So that's how I was feeding. with my young. That's how I was with my youngest. Yes, my second daughter, who's four. I was in the midst of this breakfast club shit wilding. I was fucking everything. I was hoeing, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, even though I haven't cheated in three years. <laughs> that's amazing. Excuse me, all this Yo, doubt. Tell what the I'm fuck is that? Jesus. That's, that's, that's <laughs> because, that's, because that's, it grows. That's, that's what over, do you mean? That's overcoming negativity. Yes. I, I applaud that. Yes. I applaud that. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you yeah, black man. Thank you, man. Yeah, black black man. man. Don't be that queen trying to bring you down. Three years? I really do. What's something you stopped doing in the past three years? Yes. Not What's something you stopped doing in the past three years? It's hard. Three years? Not fucking niggas from Philly. Exactly. State property. You talk state property. Taylor, you gotta stop. I didn't. So you fuck niggas from Reddit? No, Delaware. <laughs> Delaware County? That's from Jersey because all of them would come to... Um, Philly. Trenton. Okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. That's Philly, nigga. Fuck exactly. you it's talking about. It's hard to stop something saying, that you've been doing for three years. Especially because fucking of, other women. Fuck because Yo, it goes up. To stop fucking other women all at once for three years. Three and just years. Want, I, I applaud you. I got to applaud you again. Thank you. We had, Dennis, we, we had Dennis Robin on the Breakfast Club. He said, he was like, I've been sober four months. Everybody like, oh. <laughs> no, it's no, not. It's not. No, it's, it's not. Easy to, it's easy Do you know how good pussy is? What? He drank the same yak. He drank the same yak for 20 years. Yeah. Yes. New pussy is new pussy. Like, you make the commitment. That is That's very true. Yeah, but Absolutely. he didn't. Uh, he didn't ignore. He didn't know. You, you, you didn't know how deep. You think everybody gets married understands the fucking? Yes, they should. Yes. I really you think? think I, I I think you're just responding no. because you didn't let me finish what no. I was saying. No, I so I said, now. listen. But listen. <laughs> do you think that people who are getting married, everybody, men and women alike, understand the? weight of the mantle and agreement that you the that's union right. that right. you are entering in because there's nothing no, about no, just I, answer, say, I just cause, need cause, you to answer the question you, before yes, you react so yes no, you I, think Taylor this, come on get on the mic this is why saying, I'm saying that because you're in a relationship right so how long you were in a relationship on, before you she's about to get me tight I don't. before what we could square up space and opportunity Ooh, anyway prop. so <laughs> niggas from everybody from Philly think they could box anyways so you're in a relationship for how long 23 years now okay no, not married. I'm saying. Oh, married. married. Uh, I've been married five. Okay, so within that marriage, aren't you building up to be in a marriage? Level? No. First two quarters, right. first two quarters of the basketball game, you really not your head not really. In the game. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. First, first two quarters, remember, back in, remember you asked him how we turned into gurus? Right. Half time, like that. half time. Coach come in, he say, "You gotta get this shit together." That's right. That's right. You come in the third, you come in the fourth. If it go into OT, now you know. He in the five. Come on, come on. No, black men don't cheat. Oh, okay. I don't so, know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh okay. Black men don't cheat. Right hold on, listen. Black men don't what cheat. What are you saying? Hold on, hold on, but, 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 I'm going to say this. If you believe that you go into marriage and, and understand everything and, and, and you automatically, your mindset is supposed to be on, this is all I'm doing for the rest of my life, then you got it. Then you're a Takashi. Then you're just about to get married. Hold on, wait, wait. What I'm saying is, you believe that Takashi is cool snitching. No, 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 no. I'm not saying. I get it all the way back around. He's saying that you don't. Ha you're, you're not seeing this thing in full totality. Exactly. And you got you're, you're, and, you're living and a fairy everybody tale. in this room's lifestyle is different than the average that. nigga I'm from Philly. Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, no, I'm saying. Since you're in a relationship, then yes, I'm gonna think that, that you're that supposed to be loyal to me. If I'm gonna be loyal to if you, that's only, loyalty has nothing to do with monogamy. That's a whole. That's a whole. You loyalty has nothing to do with monogamy. I disagree. I disagree, and I'm gonna tell you why I disagree. From the man side, loyalty has very little to do with monogamy. Mouth, I used to feel like that, but I'm gonna tell you why I disagree. I disagree. Agree because when you when you go to bed at night and you lay down with this woman that you're spending the rest of your life with that you're raising your kids with 
you're supposed to be loyal to her. Niggas is more loyal to their homies I than their women. You wouldn't, do, not, your, you wouldn't do your agree. nigga dirty. I 100 percent agree with what yeah. you're saying, but that I don't think that has to do. I don't think that encompasses what I said. I think that's being disloyal. L- I don't. I, I think she. I, I agree. Be, you know why? Because once I enter into an agreement with you, yeah. if I came into this it's, and you it's, tell it's me this is, is you're saying yeah. I don't deal with cheating, no, 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 boom, then okay. I would be being disloyal and I would be bigger than that. Me, personally, I would be disrespecting you. Do you think it's disloyal if a girl sucked another man's dick? I said from a man's side. I said from a man's side. No, no, no. Listen, those standards exist. They do. They do. But you got to look at it that way. You would look at her like she was being disloyal. That's a whole nother dick. So she got to look at you. Exactly. That's a whole nother pussy. You could wipe that off. (laughs) <laughs> you can wipe that off. <laughs> Yo, you leak dead ass after nigga. By the way, that's why guys ask questions though. Guys be like, did you suck his dick? Did he fuck wrong? No, we ask questions because we're masochist. Like we love pain. Yes. I true. mean that too. <laughs> Finish me no, off. But you wanna know you wanna know Her? how disloyal was she? I cheated. You cheated? What did you do? Did you suck his dick? Oh. Yes. Look, he got a crazy part. He got a crazy part. Was it bigger than mine? Oh, I've definitely used all these Oh, no, bitch. Just toss me off the fucking yeah. bridge. Yeah, but when she tell you that it was bigger than yours, Lord. First of all, that's how you know you're supposed to leave. Nah. Because she didn't care about your feelings. Nope. <laughs> bitch, lie to me. Nope. You're going to be here with first this, all, nope. you first be here with this all, average size dick for the rest of your life now. Oh, that's you're going to punish us? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you like that? That's the last time you're going to get it. That's the last time you're going to see a big dick ever. <laughs> that's the last time. That's <laughs> all you're going to get. See this average thing? That's what you got. You better, come, right. you better come get your six. You better come get your six right now. Go seven and three fourths. But who's counting? You. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I feel like that's being disloyal, man. You can't. I, I, I don't. If, if I don't like being disloyal to nobody. If you my if people, if you have to lie, if, if you have to lie, you're being that's disloyal. Yes, yes man, I'll give you that. If you have to lie, you're being disloyal. But then you talk about pain. You keep telling her the truth, thinking she can just take this pain, and she 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 like, oh fuck well, it, he cheated right. on me, but at least he told me the truth. No, you hurting that. Well, girl. you gotta leave. Well, and we, and we another yeah. conversation that went viral. Um, I forgot where we was on the way back from. But curl fest or something like that. I don't. I forget what it was, but I, I, I happen to be listening to curl um, fest. Curlfest, it was, Curlfest Heaven on Earth. Very oh, that's nice. when you was doing the Sunshine Angels shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah, to yeah. Curlfest. Shout out to those oh ladies. Oh, my gosh. Um, that shit is very black. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's super it black. It was beautiful. Super black. Um, if Heaven looked like that, oh. kill me now. Take me now. I'm good. Take me now. I've seen oh, enough. yeah. Y'all definitely cheating using I'm lines like that. <laughs> that's some kind of line that gets you head at Curlfest. I don't got a girl. Oh, okay. And this nigga had, and this nigga had, and this nigga Ryan had three buttons open. Three buttons nigga Ryan was out there with three buttons open. This nigga Ryan had three buttons open. So, so that niggas was getting more oh, attention. Yeah, yeah, they wasn't and he said, no nah, mind. fuck that. He and a button of next one. Yo, on. he's yeah, dead. I got my attention. Ryan, 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 Ryan is different in person, son. When we be out, Oh. Don't let don't let two or three people recognize me and Mac and don't say nothing so, to Ryan. We gonna start he taking up. shirts off. Dang. He yo, he's wilding. So you be wilding at Palooza's, right? I don't go. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go. I gotta see. That's that's a thing. If it's he brings a problem in my life, I gotta just, you know, go with it. If Dan, so y'all banned from all Palooza? Oh no, no, no. Nobody said we banned. Okay, 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 okay. I just choose, you know, I choose to pick and choose my battles. Not for you. I mean, I, if you I, wanna I, go, go. No, of course. What you say you was at Curl Fest and what happened? And um I, we was coming back from there. And uh, I, I had texted we we because we always keep conversation in the chat. So I I forgot. I think I was listening to Beyonce, me myself and I. And remember, and she said um, she said uh, even my very best friend tried to warn me on the low. Mm, and I was mm. like, I listened back to it. I'm like, well, she didn't. He didn't try and bag. He just tried to warn her on the low, like let you know, like hey, this nigga is fucked up. So we start talking about that on the on the um on the podcast, and that that conversation went viral because I'm like. Is there any opportunity? Is there any moment where you would step in and be like, "Yo, my you man, wildin', my you man wildin', wildin', son! Like, <laughs> this girl can't handle this. Like, her hair falling out, she getting skin. Like, you're visually seeing this woman being affected by this. I'm like, I might step in. Like, I, there's there's a chance I would step in and be like, "Yo, Shorty, you would step in and tell Shorty she should leave his man's." Yeah. I said I could not do that unless it was to a physical level where there was physical abuse going by. I can't step in because I don't. I, I agree with that. I, I just yeah. want to step in. Oh, we all, all agree across the board. Yeah, yeah. Like physically, yeah. yes. I can step, step in. But if it's just, if, if it's what he's, if he's cheating and you keep taking, I can't step in to that. Nah, I don't have nothing to do with that. You know what? I'm not going to step in on nothing that that's I know why I women could call probably it, That's do. why women call us halfway. That's why they call us uh, fuck niggas that think we think we good or what they call us. Uh, uh, mediocre, Nigga, mediocre good niggas. It's not. If you tell me only if you're cheating. Only if you're cheating. No. It's only if you're cheating. If you're, not, even if if you're not, cheating and you telling on a nigga cheating, you a snitch. Bro, no, I don't know shit. you, even if I don't know you. Me but I'm like, I seen you much. with I, I seen you with your girl and I see you with another woman. If I tell on you, right. I am a rat. Absolutely. Now what Absolutely. if y'all are in clo- like this is 
if this is your man's girl, so you are in constant contact with her, this is sis, Close yo sis, what's up sis? That, yeah. Like proximity, you here. And you watch her, the same person that you yeah. developed a relationship with. Because everybody, I hear people always talk about, oh, I keep my distance. It's impossible that if this is your best friend, this is their this is their counterpart, this is who they're dating for three, four, five years, you're going to develop a relationship with them. Yep. So now you're going to sit here and tell me you're Don't a good nigga. Don't get that nigga. close to my lady then. It's impossible. This is what you got to tell you. I wouldn't even, it's not even about taking it to her. I'm going to tell my man every no, day. No, I'm about to say, but we you already got a said, good woman, but we yo, said you that. fucking up. But we said, like I said, I'm not jumping out the window and doing it. That's, that's you crazy. You can't say that too much either because I'm going to be like, what, you want to fuck up? Word. And, and I'm telling her to leave you. And, and my thing is, what if she go back to me and tell me, yo, your man said I should leave you. Ooh. Now me and you got a problem. That's And I'd be fine with that. I would be fine because at the end of the day, it would take so much to get me to that point. So you're saying it's okay for niggas to tell your girl if you're cheating, mouse? No, nah, I didn't say that. Who are you talking about? That's Who's what gonna I got tell her that? Nobody can tell her that. Wow. But that's I'm just saying, like, I'm saying if you were. And we know you're not because black men don't cheat. But right. that's a fact. But if it was possible if you were. If I was wilding her shit up to the point where it's affecting her daily life, yes. I think even if she already knows, I'm not just saying, like, women be knowing niggas cheat and still be with them. If I'm wilding her shit up, I'm talking to her crazy. I'm, I'm treating her bad. I'm not providing. I'm not doing yeah, my job yeah, as yeah. a man. And it's affecting her life to where it's now affecting her physical hair. We see it. You We've would, all you, seen you it. You would be cool with me going to your lady like, yo. If I'm doing all that, I understand. Him. You I do, would still be cool that, with me? You my man. And you, you held me accountable. I don't think you should take it to her. You take it to him. Yeah. But if I'm, if I'm constantly I, taking it to you. and I'm, you even, I'm only checking you because you're my even, guy. But you even just said it. You can't even say that to a nigga too, much, too many times. Because now he's going to be like, you trying to fuck my girl? Well, fl- okay, well, you keep, t- keep her out of it and just be like, bro, you wilding with your woman, yo. Now, how many times now, you, you going to do that? You can't be doing that. She's going to end up in jail. Keep hitting on this girl. No, no, we're not talking about that. We all said that if it's physical, yeah, we all yeah, step yeah, in yeah, physically. But mental abuse is just as bad. Emotional abuse is just bad. But this is what I'm saying. So we got. If, there, if you Debo. are watching this shit, you you gotta say something. It, it's it's. I'm gonna say something to my guy. It's imperative. You got. I couldn't do that because I, I feel like it. Ryan. You go to your girl. The only way I'd be like, yo, I'm telling your girl. <laughs> yeah, that's the only I gotta thing. tell you, I'm telling hey, bro, your girl. I'm gonna, yo, tell, I'm gonna tell you. If you don't cut this shit out, I'm telling your girl. And niggas, and niggas gonna be like, man, fuck that bitch. You then you know what? And I'm you gonna go tell your girl. I, and then when right, you get so mad at me, so I'm say, I told you. So there is an opportunity for you to tell. So, but I'm never telling you to tell my girl. Point. See what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But I'm all right, like, so, so, all right, so say Charlamagne. You, po- you post those threats. So you pull you pull it up in your phone, put the message in the screen. So Charlamagne like, says it. it. So Charlamagne says it to him. He says, Yo, I'm gonna tell your girl, nigga, but like, right, I'm gonna do better. Nigga don't do no better. Nigga, keep fucking this I'm shit. I'm gonna tell your girl. All right. So this goes back to what I say. But, there is an oppor- there is a level you will get to. But in my where- mind, if you my mans, then I would just have to step away from me being around you and your lady and all that. Like I just have to push that away. I can't be as close to yeah, you as a friend. I, 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 we can't I say we I can't, can't we can't say that we care about black women. We can't say that we love black women. We can't say that we will defend and die over black women and then watch them be done. Fuck yeah, up but but and a not lot, step in. But when it comes to the community of being a black man, we got to police each other. Sure. So it's just like yo, in order for us to be better men for our women, that I got to check fact. you. But Ryan got to check me. If, we got to check each but other. But if I'm checking you, and this is a woman, mind you, this ain't somebody that's all, this is not me and Paige where she's all the way over there. Paige not allowed to talk to me. But not Paige all the way over there. It's you right here. You in my circumference. I see this girl every couple days. I. This, this might be my kid's godmother. I might be your kid's godparent. I'm only telling her is wow. if I tell you first, All right. I'm So, which her. means Charlemagne agrees with me that is a level. There is a I, there is a point he'll get so to. If I go well, to I, I, it ain't going to be about no cheating. Look, if I, it's it, not about cheating. Get cheating out your mind. It's not just the cheating fact. It's just if you are wilding this girl up. I don't, know, I don't know how you had that convo, though. But what but if I'm sitting there thinking, like, if I tell your girl, I'm like, why you keep letting him treat you like this? That, in, to you my sound mind, like a she sound like a brother. You, you, know, you sound like a Joe record. You sound like a Joe record. You sound like her brother. This is also somebody <laughs> she's known for five to six years. No, I know. But my, I know. my thing is, if you go to her and you say all this, and she's like, you know what? You're right. But I'm then get, still no, no, I'm, I'm going to go, get, I'm gonna go get my brother to fuck him up. I, Whoa! Yeah. I'm gonna fuck your brother. But now, but now, but let's yeah. let's say he don't he go further than fuck you up, and it gets it gets re- super violent, and something happens to you. Now it's on my conscience, like damn. My man is half dead in the emergency room because I went to his girl and she finally took the balls and now she she hurt him. So who's in the wrong now? Mm. Him, the nigga that started it all. If we taking accountability, right? We, we being accountable, no? Are we are we being accountable in this it's moment or are we here to troll? It's, it's definitely the man's fault. It's the nigga who initiated. He was, it, all you had to do was and, stop fucking up or exactly. 
fucking leave. Stop being pussy or and staying in a relationship that you don't want to be in. I stay out that relationship's business and back but, the fuck up. But they brought you into it. This is what I keep saying. This is not something you're entering That's why into. I don't let my friends get too close to those. I, I ain't doing that. Yeah, I don't see no reason for my homies to be close with my girl anyway. I mean, it's love. You know what I'm saying? It's family. Like, Appreciate we're cool. You. But yeah, we but I'm not, I'm not, you know, bro, sis. When I see you, but other than that, I'm good. Yeah, I agree with that too. You my man. I hear that. I unless, hear and, it. And then the other situation I we said, hear. unless I knew her before I knew you. Well, that's completely different. And I'm gonna tell you another reason. You don't ever want to make it so uh, she feels comfortable enough to call you to be like, so yeah, where was y'all at last night? Yeah, oh, yo, quiet. such as is oh, he no, with I'm you? Is, I'm gonna be tight. You, right you do me like that. I'm gonna be tight. You, I'm a rat. Uh, nah, you not get on my phone. not here, Rod. You know where he at? What? I don't know nothing. I didn't know that one time. Cause you know he used to run around me in the city and shit when I used to be in the clubs and stuff. And one Saturday morning, his girl called me like, "Yo, um, what's? Oh, I didn't mean to say, delete his name. Was, it, was he with you last oh, now night? Now you want to delete people that you and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, no. Cause you know why? Cause he ain't give me a heads up. So I didn't know what the fuck was going on. This is what I be saying, and this is why women I don't better I than niggas. Respond. This I is just, why women. <laughs> what? This is why women cheat calling. better than niggas. Because a nick, if a girl hears that. Mm -hmm. She already know. If a girl, if Taylor call Paige right now, or if somebody call Paige right now and be like, "Yo, if 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 um unnamed Philly nigga calls wow. uh, Paige be, and be, like if be, if be, if be, if be Oskino, 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 Oskino. Yeah, Oskino. she would definitely like. No, she probably like Sim Santana. She's a dream chase. She, she, dream chase is more her era. She, no, she said Cassidy. Cassidy was way older than you. And it, okay, mm -hmm. all right, okay. He did a song with R. Kelly. Different. Asking little young girls from Philly to come to the hotel. Was, hotel. You was, you was, you was you one of them? Was you and one of Paige, them? And Paige was like, "What hotel? Just Ramada? let me know which one. Is it the Ramada? A loft? Exactly. <laughs> now, back exactly. then it was the Ramada. But, but you got to give your people a heads up, right? Yeah. And that's why, like I yeah. said, if, if 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 unnamed Philly nigga called Paige right now, like, hey, I ain't seen my little John. You seen her? <laughs> you seen? Yeah. And, she, and Paige is gonna automatically know. Oh, uh -oh. she's up to something. Uh oh. Actually, she's at a spin class. She's with Charlemagne right now working. Her phone's dead. She's going to know. You do that same shit to one of us. Oh, and this Out is the getting blue. tripped up. If you, if we, we, that's the crazy part. We will know how to not talk to police. Most of us. But then... A girl will get us to give the goods up on our neck. Uh, where's, uh, where's, where's Mac right Saint, now? Uh, uh, Shane yeah, Taylor shit, is with uh, Charlemagne. Uh, that can fuck you up too. Yeah. You got I get a the phone call left to talk about, hey, Mac. A lot uh, of insecure niggas be like, y'all can't be working that much. Yeah. Well, you got to get rid of them niggas. I, I say it That's all about. the time. You got, you, got a, you got a nigga that is upset with you because you work with a lot of different guys. You got clip shit. You, he, so right, it's yeah. only, you got it's a problem That's waiting to happen. Toxic. You got to get toxic. Toxic. It's a problem. With, he'll never be happy for you. Absolutely he'll not. never. He'll never be. And that's the biggest thing. Nothing. That's the biggest thing. He won't even be able to celebrate you never. and your accomplishment because he's so worried about how it affects him as a man. Especially because he probably met you doing that same job. Exactly. So why is it a problem now? No, 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 because that is a more broader. That what you said in that instance, sure. But oh, what but you're others, addressing yeah, you is get, a broader yeah, I mean, sense. Because yeah, women yeah. do be changing. Like Ooh. women will be when you meet her, I'm about my money, I ain't got time for niggas, da da da. da. And then she start liking you. Where's she ain't got no job? Well, you don't got no job. You really, have a baby. No, no, that's fine, but why how you got so much time? Like I thought you was on your grind. What, you got thirteen you had thirteen jobs when I met First you. Month, how do you, you have so much time times. to hang with me now? Because yeah. niggas stop fucking with you because you with that dude all the time. Because sometimes girls get caught up with the guy that they, they involved with and they start slacking in their motherfucking job. And it's like, all right, well, go over there. And the reason they start slacking is because that nigga's in the ear like, you always with that nigga. What you and that nigga got going on? X, Y, and Z. People right. start to feel that energy. And they're like, all right, you, just, you stay just over, go there. over there. You stay over there. Mm, I so want the best Taylor team, been in that go. situation. A nigga was hating. Come here. Okay. Go ahead. Because of me, what happened? Go ahead. Right there. Oh. No, he told me oh, Taylor, she about to do some oh, ill ass. Oh, Taylor got shit. shit. Yo, who she gave her like, a mic? That. Oh, my she God, like, bro. Oh, y'all fight me. Wow. <laughs> what happened with so, the nigga? So, I was dating a Haitian. Doc Posse! Mabu, let's Loving that uncircumcised dick. That's one check. That's one check. Oh, you got uncircumcised dick. Yo. Yo. I met him, like, at, like, a bar or something like that. He's not in the industry or nothing like that. He got upset. Um, long story short, we were supposed to hang out. We didn't hang out, and that's when you invited me to go to like Tiffany. So I told him like, "Oh, it's cool, no doubt." Like I'm gonna go with Charlemagne. His friends like to see Tiffany Haddish. The next day, he was like, 
I feel like you just pushed me under the rug. Oh, like, shit. so like, why are you and like Charmaine always like hanging out? Like really got upset. You should just play black See? men don't cheat. But he was definitely an insecure. Like really. As insecure. if my wife ain't right there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> You gotta cut niggas like that. You gotta, you gotta clip them. You, you gotta clip them. Right the, the way he did not clip his uncircumcised hair. <laughs> oh, you gotta cut motherfuckers like that. <laughs> Jesus well, listen, Christ. Let's put a button on what we was talking about earlier. We were talking about the kids and micromanaging yeah. the kids, mm-hmm. right? When I, my four year old, I wasn't like I wasn't like involved the first year, or so right. like I should have been. Right. Third daughter, I'm all in. Yeah. So I'm saying all that to say you have to make time. Absolutely. Even when you're busy and you on the go, a hundred miles per hour, you gotta my, make time. I'm about time. to take my older daughter on the road with me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, you have to. You have to. Yeah. If, if you don't do that, it don't matter whether you co-parenting or in the house. You just have to make time. That's a fact. I just think it's harder to make time when you co-parent. It's the if you're traveling and our lifestyle is the same. Yeah. It, it's it might be easier because then you don't have to it might be easier because now when you come when you're back in town, you can just focus on parenting instead of parenting and fostering a relationship. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you if you're and, and I'm not anti relationship, well, obviously. The, explain the difference between parenting parenting and fostering a relationship. So if you're together with the person, okay. right? Let's say it's 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 some it's somebody like the four of us. We're we're all we're on the road, we're out. So when we come home, we have to be a parent, but we also have to be a boyfriend or a husband. Mm-hmm. If you're just co-parenting, when I come home, I just have to be a father. Got you. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm not anti-relation. I'm not. I'm. I, I'm sense. in one. Like, and I, I want to have kids. But I'm just saying, I'm not opposed to the idea now because it's like, well, it's, it, it would fit my lifestyle better, and I feel like I would be able to focus more. Mm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Let's pay some bills. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. You are. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Which, which one are we on? It. We're um, gonna love you through it. I'm not even sure if that's the right exercise. It keeps hitting me in my nose. Listen, I agree with Antonio Brown when he said he needed to change these helmets. These helmets are absolutely ridiculous. Are you about to kick us out of here? Only if you can catch me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys. NFL season is back, okay? And you know where we're going to go gamble? We're going to go gamble at mybookie.com. M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E.com. All sorts of amazing things. They got this $100,000 handicapping tournament. Only costs $100 to get in. And that's right, you could win $100,000, okay? You want me to get out of here? Stiff arm, no. Okay? (laughs) Mybookie.com. It's got live in-game betting on every single NFL game, okay? And for you fantasy nerds out there, you can bet the over-under on fantasy points. I really got to get a better helmet. Here's the reality, okay? They're going to match your first deposit up to $1,000. Do you know what that even means? Do you know what that even means? That means you put $1,000 in, they match it. You're going to gamble all that money. That's only at mybookie.com. M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E.com. You want all that good stuff? You got to use our promo code. That promo code is idiots. Mybookie.com. Promo code idiots. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, Chris, man. What's up? We doing all right in life. Chris, come talk to us. What's up? Listen, support for today's show comes from Boost Mobile. All right, switching to Boost Mobile gives you more. Anybody here got a Boost Mobile phone? Massa. Massa, you got Boost? Uh, They're surprising people with more at every turn because Boost doesn't offer one great thing. It offers many great things like super reliable, super fast nationwide network and four lines for $100 a month with unlimited gigs for data, talk, and text and four free LG Sty... Sty ILO... And four free LG Stylo. Oh, I'm an idiot. (laughs) Five phones for the whole family. It's more than you'd expect from a wireless service, and it all comes with no annual service contract. Switch to Boost Boost Mobile and get super reliable, super fast nationwide network so you can connect almost anywhere. Boost Mobile, the switch that gives you more. I think that a lot of people who cheat got Boost Mobile phones. I'm serious. (laughs) Nah, that's how they was getting all the drug dealers. The Boost, right? Yeah, when niggas had to chirp. Well, ah, I miss the chirp. I don't. You know, Mr. Chirp? No, it was bad the chirp times was, in the it chirp. It was cool, though. It was, it was the cool. The Boost Mobile Chirp, it, it just seemed cool. It was, it was way It was cool, but then that's how niggas was getting caught up. Niggas, niggas is just typing in whatever numbers, chirping whoever. Yeah. It was the Chirp hotline. Like, it was crazy it out there. It looked like FBI agents walking around with them walkie-talkies. Brr, brr, and the phones, all, all the first ones looked just like police just phones. Just like police phones. <laughs> just like... Brr, brr. 
<laughs> nah, I'm out of here, son. And then you remember if if I I don't know, oh no, I don't think he was in New York at the time. Like they used to always have him uh, all the. Or the train police, or the TSA police would have them shits, or, or the, the MTA police. They'd have the boost. So nigga have that Jason Seahorn jersey and yeah. waiting by the waiting by the, the ticket, yeah. the, the, the the turnstile. You already know. I wonder if they could tap the boost phones. Yeah, that's, could, yeah, right? that's how I was getting caught up. Wow. Well, we're saying all that to say that Boost Mobile offers <laughs> uh, coverage not available everywhere. All right. Free phone requires port in. Additional terms and conditions apply. Visit boostmobile.com or your nearest retailer. For details. Now, this is the part of the show because Taylor uh, thinks that we don't use her topics. Oh, brother. So oh, man. We try to run through. <laughs> State does, does the fucking check clear? Yeah, we try to run through her topics. Does the check fucking clear, Taylor? We already did Takashi. Who? Uh, interracial dating don't based do off Jenny Mai. Jenny Mai says that in a relationship, because she's Asian, she's dating young Jeezy, so she says she has about. to get to know her his culture. Oh, he said, I think that when you look at the word interracial, you should really look at it as interresponsible. It is a responsibility when you date outside of your race to learn about that culture because not everybody's experience is the same. She went on to further elaborate. When he steps into my house, he takes off his shoes. He knows how Vietnamese people do it. I don't know why she thinks that's only a Vietnamese thing. Yeah, he's been doing that since he was black. Uh, she says, when I met him, I was like, I want to go to Hawkinsville. Show me exactly this yellow house that you grew up in. And how did you start your business? And how did you understand how to make a dollar? How do we feel about this, guys? I think she's retarded. I've never dated another white race. Mac? I know you've dated some white women in your day. Huh? I've, I've never dated a white woman. Come on, you was on Beverly Hills 90210. Which is hilarious. I've never dated a white woman. Really? I've never been in a in a, in a a relationship with a white woman. I've had sex with white women. Me too. I've never. I've had sex with unfortunately. Spanish women, Mexican women, so white women. I said unfortunately. <laughs> Haitian uh, but women. I, but I've, same, same. The, 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 the spectrum is wide. But <laughs> I, ha I, I haven't been in a relationship with a white woman, so I don't. I, I wouldn't know. Ryan? I've never been in a relationship with a white woman. Really? Never. God, I love y'all. Mouth? Never. Contrary to popular belief. Niggas, contrary <laughs> to your belief. <laughs> yo, this way, yo, I know this way it all started, right? I, I believe it. He, he fucked it up. I, nigga, we would have been good. This nigga said the name on air, and he didn't do what he did the last five minutes ago. Take that name <laughs> out. That, delete nigga, that, left yeah. the name in, left the Instagram in. Nigga, I got to the crib. Shit is going left. I said, what is happening here? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'm the same way. I've never dated a white woman. I've been in relationships with white women. Uh, I've been in relationships with women from the Latino side. Mm -hmm, so same. the thing is with me, it's like when you black, they gravitate towards our culture more That's than anything. Like uh, They want to be in the blackness and hip hop. It's not like they really... I've seen it go both ways. Really? I've seen it go the opposite. Like I guess it depends how serious you are. If you're in a relationship with somebody from look, another side, I can see that. Look at RG3. Well, see, that's it, different. he's married that's, though, that's, white woman. I feel like that's different. I feel like it's all depends on where you were raised, mm -hmm. how you were raised, and who you were raised by. Mm -hmm. So I think RG3 came from a, a white community. Yeah, I feel I like he went Did to he? school. I believe so. Oh, I, I believe don't he don't went know. to school with all white people. I mean, not to say I, I've i had my shit right. here. Like, I went to all white college, right. but I knew what I wanted because of where I came from and I, I didn't believe in that's what I he was destined to throw a pass yeah, to a white was, woman absolutely was absolutely and she was, all white this, is, this wasn't when he first all started with the white woman receivers. his going to the league he had a white girlfriend yeah, yeah, college yeah, yeah. white girlfriend mm -hmm. high school white girlfriend that's that's a different Zion they all got white girlfriends they grew Zion up. got a white girlfriend yeah. definitely what absolutely he's from the sticks of South Carolina and he and got so a white you should have known he was going to get a white woman no I'm from he, the sticks of South Carolina but you also you got to also watch he went to do but you also got to watch his basketball games and who was at his school Say, the whole he crowd was, dude, was he's he the wasn't only black he wasn't like a hood white team. South Carolina team where yeah, the, the yeah, crowd yeah. is going crazy he would have been probably a way bigger player well might, he might not as big as big if he went to an all black school yeah oh, if wow. he would have went to HBCU there would have been other nah, black HBCU, players if he would have went to HBCU obviously no not even not I'm not even talking about the first. college I'm talking about his high school, oh, high school. If, you look high school. At, if you look at his high school it's all white kids in the crowd oh that's a fact that's a fact he would have got lost and there would have been other black people on his team it was just him I want to tell all you young athletes with white girlfriends, leave them. Look at their moms. That's how they're gonna look they in five years. They're not gonna age well. I'm telling you. Y'all worried about that? Look at OJ. Uh, you're going down. You're going, no, no. I'm thinking. You're I'm, going down. I'm thinking how they're gonna age. They, they age. They don't age well. Come on, man. How you gonna look at Angela Bassett and then look at freaking uh, the Olsen twins? The, exactly. <laughs> My God. They are thirty. Man. Olsen twins is thirty. They look sixty-eight. And don't think we being racist. This is just science. This, this is, white we can't people be age racist. We can't be racist. That is true. <laughs> 
I tried to tell Miley Cyrus manager that this weekend. She, we can't be racist. We can't be we racist. Can't. No, can't. Racism in today I, involves on, power structure. I, I, I was we actually about to exactly. Who can we impose our racism exactly. upon that it would negatively affect them? Absolutely. I have. I, have, I was about to say. I, we I, can't I, even I, cancel I'll, a motherfucking black artist because of white people. So how the fuck are we gonna be yeah. racist against somebody? Uh, Miley Cyrus manager called me racist this weekend. We was at the IHOP festival, and um, I would said thank you. Miley, what, what what happened was Miley came down the hall. When we walked in, her security was like, clear the hall, clear the hall. Nobody can get through, nobody can get through, nobody can get through. Miley Cyrus, whatever. So all the white people that I heard was like, Upset, right? like it was like, yo, not, I'm not gonna say all, but a good portion of them was like, That's, yo, who does she think she is? Blah, blah, blah. So when we started the live pre show, I'm like, yeah, Miley Cyrus just came down the hall, cleared everybody out. I'm like, I don't know who she thinks she is. She's not a presidential candidate, right? You know, she's not a diplomat, right? This is the IHOP festival. Some of the biggest stars in the world have been here. Mm -hmm. Nobody tripping just off you. you. Here you are, exactly. Yeah. And then uh, Angela Lee asked me who I'm looking forward to seeing, and I was like, I'm looking forward to seeing all the black artists. I want to see Chance the Rapper, I want to see her. I said, Miley Cyrus used to be black until it stopped being profitable for her. <laughs> And so <laughs> all, of, all of Miley's points were made. Exactly. Yeah. All of Miley's Very, social media following started going crazy. And then about three, four minutes later, I look to my right and I see this white guy standing there, right? He's just standing there. And you know, I shake everybody's hand when you're around me. Of course. So I go to shake this dude's hand, the dude looks me up and down and goes, Nah, I don't fuck with you. Mind you, he's a white guy. Nah, I that's it. I like that. I, I, I like I that energy. Lost. I would have. Ooh, I, that energy. It would have been. It, it would have been over for Mouse Jones at iHeart. I, I would have popped. I said, I don't who the fuck with you? I said, oh. Exactly. I said, who the fuck are you? Because I'm my size manager. So I'm like, so you got a fucking problem? He's like, yeah, I don't like you saying X, Y, and Z. So many suck my dicks flying. No, no. Oh my God. Frank Stan. Wax and NB. Wax and NB said I said that, but I don't believe I said that. What I remember saying, I think it was suck my dick energy, but I don't think that came out my mouth. I don't think anybody's ever like, you know. What I said was, get your white ass away from me. I did say that, and that's when he goes. Oh, you're a racist and everybody knows no, you're a racist. No, your ass is white. You're a white person. Exactly. Get away from you're white and you got ass. Get your white ass away from me. And then I told him I would slap the shit out you. That's not racist. That's, that's what I that's said. That's actually equal. That's Absolutely. equal. That's equal. Equal, equal opportunity. That's equal opportunity. Absolutely. Equal opportunity. Because if yes. you, you would tell a black man in a minute, you'll slap shit out of him if he violates. So why would you well, not tell a white on, man, man that, that would slap the shit out of him? opposite of racist, if you ask it's me. It's equal yes. opportunity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody. This is what I've been trying to say for the past five years, but y'all always want to shut me up. You are racist, though. Okay. And I mean, long story short, he did apologize. As he should. And was like, yo, my bad, whatever. I didn't mean to not shake your hand, yada, yada, yada. I didn't mean to not shake my hand. But suck my dick. Exactly. The Frank stand would have been open for a week straight. Every time I see Miley Cyrus, I would have been like, suck my dick. Oh, he apologized because uh, two higher ups from iHeart came over who happened to be white. Hmm. So I think in his mind, he was like, oh, I got his masses now. Hmm. And when they came yeah. over, exactly. When they came over, I go, yeah, that's Miley Cyrus' manager. He's a fucking dickhead. And it's just like, all his energy was just what? gone. What? No. <laughs> yeah. Me? I don't know where you were. I don't know why you would say that. <laughs> That's preposterous. I don't know where. Exactly. I don't know where Charlamagne would get that. I love the uh, Breakfast Club. His name is Adam too, by the way. Fuck That's Adam. Adam. Managing fuck this. Adam. I, listen, I don't have a problem with him. I don't need. I don't either. But fuck Adam. Yeah, I just. I don't like him. I don't like him because of that. The first well, really impressions are a motherfucker. It really don't take much for me to say fuck him, motherfucker. Yeah, hey, yeah, man. Come come on, like, man. Oh, you don't like him? Me neither. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just loyal to my people, Zach. Yeah, I swear to God. Like, I, swear like to God that, I swear to God that's mouse. I, I could literally be on some like, yeah, this... This nigga, no, because you too, no, no, because you be, no, because you be, no, fuck that, no, because you be too nice. This nigga be too nice to niggas, bro. But but that's that's the greatest thing about it is too nice to niggas. They'll look at Mac and Mouse. Mac would be so nice and so calm. They could do so. Not saying they'll do so wrong. He'll be so nice because I've seen him turn up. But in front of a camera, it's a beautiful. He's not. But then it'll be him on one side and me on the other, and I'll be like, no, no, no. What he said. Nah, say what you gotta say. Lord, he's not gonna say. What the fuck did you say? Get Mac in a fight for no goddamn. No, no, we would never let Mac fight. We got it. No, I got you. By I got himself. You. I got you. <laughs> Never fight by himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a fact. I just don't think white men... Yeah, I'm not a weed holder. <laughs> I, I, I make my own money. <laughs> you, have to, you have to throw a punch as well, buddy. <laughs> I mean, Mouse told me he was the Beyonce this whole situation. Mm, Listen, Michelle. Mouse, if, 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 if this comes... If, if we're talking if we're, about podcasting. If we're speaking about podcasting, Mouse Jones is, is Beyonce. If we're speaking about culture, uh, we don't even have to speak about it. Ooh. We're talking about culture. We're not that hey, way. You hush, Michelle. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you relax, Farrell. No, no, no. You fucking I, I, relax, I'll, I'll never, Farrell. There's only three of us. I, I can stay. I can stay, Kelly. You all day. Kelly. I, you I can be Kelly. Kelly all day. He's laughing. There's only You're three Michelle. of us. No, no, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Now, when you say culture, what do you mean? Definitely not. Shit. When you say culture, what do you mean? No, I'm in no fashion. Am I? No, because I'm not. No, no, no. Fuck out of here. You know why I can't be Michelle? Because there's no way I'm not going to that big drop off. I'm not going from be out to here to turn to be Michelle. Some people can shoot. Michelle, dope, dope. Yeah, she I do. wish I had the. I, she married exactly. a white man. She divorced him too. But no, she, she didn't get married. They, they were together and they broke up. I'm going to tell you why Even I like Michelle. fucking worse. Michelle kills in the gospel world. Yep. Yes, she does. And you love your gospel. Gospel and, and, and Sunday. She's a, and she's a huge mental health advocate. There you mm. go. Uh, you dated a white man. It happens. And, and she divorced him. <laughs> Michelle go. is Michelle. It, Michelle, I Michelle, don't know. Michelle owns a, a fucking WNBA team, bro. Michelle popping. <laughs> Charlamagne can hold the whole league. <laughs> WNBA <laughs> popping, man. But I think the WNBA would be super popping. Right. Listen, hear me out. Yo, I'm not WNBA would be amazing if they lower the rim to nine feet. Nah, lower the rim to nine what? feet. Throw the rim down. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yo, I want to start with Ryan. It would be so wait. much. Wait, wait, wait. I want to address what you said. I want to address what you said. You're right, Charlamagne. Yes. If you allow, if, if they allow transgender, the if they allow trans women, if they allow trans women yes. to play in the WNBA, no, yes. it's, the it's league's gonna be going unfair. up, bro. No, because if Braun said, "Oh, I'm going to be transgender," no, today, you he's got dunking, <laughs> he's scoring ninety in in fucking three minutes. But, but guess what? Who guess cares? What? Guess y'all what? see Juana man? A win is a Have win. y'all seen Juana yes, man? He was killing. A win is a but win. But guess what happens then? They go from making minimum wage to now everybody's making absolutely everybody's making the same. Yo, but if you lower the rim to nine feet, nah. It's getting crazy. Okay, do that. Right. Right. Let's, combine Let's, combine Let's combine them. Let's combine them. Let's combine them. Lower the room to nine feet. Enter it. Let transgender women play the you whole stock of the league. Have, have, have you ever seen Have you ever seen NBA Jam? Yes. That's what it will be like. Yes. No, these no, 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 jokes will be like, over the rim like from this. down. It's like, like, that's that's slam- all we would care about. Y'all remember Slam Ball? Yes. That's what that's it would look like. Right. 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 From every- Why? You, you know what? You know what? Yo. You can have one of the other. You got it. Yes. Oh, oh. I, 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 okay. You can have one of the other. You can't do both. By the way, no, this is a real WNBA marketing plan. Y'all got to start being more inclusive. Trans women need to be included the same way they're talking about they want to be included in Black Girls Rock. Include trans women in the WNBA. Lower the rim to nine feet. Scott Stocks rise. rise like a motherfucker. That's, yo, I don't think you lower it to nine feet. You got it. That's a fact. Michelle will be a billionaire. Listen. Yes. <laughs> Billion. Y'all, billion. you tell me you're not watching it? Then? Absolutely, absolutely. You, you, can't lower it to nine, you can't lower it to nine feet and allow trans women to I play. don't see why, why not. not. And by the way, I'm you know, let's do it to nine feet. Let's do it to nine feet. Else. We sleep on them WNBA women when it comes to their skill set. Some of them nice. can ball. They can ball. Right. So don't think that them yeah, trans women are going to go out there and just dominate. Against other women. Nah, they still going to be nice. They're nice against they other women. They're nice against other women. One trans woman per team. No, mm. see, now you're wild. <laughs> yes! See, now you can't put that's a cap on it. What is that? I'm about to Did say, you can't put a cap on it. Over the human being. No, no, no. No, no, no. So overseas, that's the three fifths rule? Yo. No, because over, overseas does all it. All you need is one because. Overseas does it when it comes to Americans on a team. Yeah. They give you a. Uh, uh, you only can have one or two players. It, per, it depends but on your league. That's an American. No. Not a fucking whole but, gender. But, but. No, you as, can't of, do that as of recent, Americans Yo, have dominated. Yo, you're going to sign a contract that says, I am the trans cap? No, nigga, like. Dude, that's what's gonna I'm be called. It's gonna be called the trans fucking, cap. I'm about to start this campaign, bro. No, don't do that. We not, not saying one. Yeah, I agree, but not saying just one per team. That's I, crazy. Start it off. You gotta start somewhere. Yes, Yo, I'm you with you, bro. Are sick. Yo, you start sick. I'm sick with you. Lower the room to nine feet. Trans women. It's tra- very trans rare. women in the league. Yo, and, and one per team. I and think one per team. Is you can. Okay. You gotta start. What's the, what's, what's the other? What's the other tale of topics? Scott Disick versus Corey Gamble. Oh, that was that was a good one. I agree with my black brother. Hold on, Corey, I, don't know, I don't know what he happened. He should have smacked Corey fire Gamble at is Scott. Chris Jenner's boyfriend. Yep, I remember okay. that. And he told Scott Disick, if your daughter Penelope scratches me, I'm whipping her ass, referring to Scott's seven-year-old daughter. And Scott responds, my daughter. And then Corey reiterates, he'd physically punish Scott's child shot and give her a spanking for sure. Okay. I'm with Scott Disick. I'm with Scott Disick. Wait, wait, wait. That's the only time I'm going against a black man. Wait, so, so what happened? Not. So basically, the black man, that's Chris's boyfriend. Yeah, not yeah, her yeah. husband. Yeah. That's a boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Ain't the nigga that's that that's, grandpa. Ra- I don't care. that's not grandpa. He around long enough. It, Two, no, he fuck out of here. You, 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 you black man will be replaced very soon. So that doesn't, no. Hell no. E- either way, you not putting your hands on my daughter. No. If my daughter scratches you, fuck that. You come, you come fight me. First of all, I don't beat he my kids. He told her that too. That's a fact. I don't beat my kids. I don't beat my kids. I spanked my go- daughter. I spanked my oldest daughter like twice in her life when she was mad young, and I felt stupid as fuck. You gonna tell my? And then you gonna tell me that you gonna beat my daughter? So now I'm pussy. Ooh. Dead pussy. Well, he, 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 oh, well, well, if, you look, well, if you look at the tape, 
Scott is very pussy because he told him, I'll, how, I'll beat your ass. How about that? No, I ain't see all that. Yeah, that, was, that, that was the next part of it. <laughs> that must have been a part of that. That must have been uh, on a Takashi tape. <laughs> yeah, that he, he looked over, he said, Well, I'll, I'll fuck you up. How about that? Corey told him that? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with Corey? He's a thug. He was tight. He was I tight. love it. Nick he's singing he's singing all you know this shit that's going on in the house. Nah, it wasn't you know just it that situation. There was a lot going his on in the house in my mind. Wearing, his get out shit is wearing off. <laughs> his get out <laughs> shit is wearing shit, off. The potion? Yeah, the potion is wearing off. So he's, got, he's, he's come back and okay, being black. Now, now, do I think he could have said it a little better? Yeah, oh, yeah he could have. He could have said, if if you know, if I was you, this is what I would have did. Because that would have made more sense in the situation. But at the end of the day. You're not threatening my kid in front of me, boy. It's also, he spoke from from a from an older generational period, I think. Yeah, but Spanking was wrong. Because when you when you go back and you look at the spankings that you got, at least for me, that shit was abuse, nigga. I used to get uh, beaten with extension cords. I gotta hit both yeah, sides. Yeah, take a bath. <laughs> getting beat with bicycles. But did you? Tires. But did you also hit, see? I deserved, did you also see the clip I which I which I saw today? Beatings. There was a clip of who's what's the ones whose kids they are? What is it? Is it Courtney? It's Courtney. Courtney. Yeah, right? yeah. You there's a the clip of, of all the all three of her kids <laughs> disobeying everything she's talking about. Well, she's she like. Uh, but this is what I'm they, saying. Nobody listening. And this hey, is, did you listen to your mom growing up? Didn't think so. It's like you see what I'm saying? Like, but this is what I'm trying to say. Oh wow, wow! I see I your. See, I'm not I doing see. nothing the white man used to do to keep us in line to my kids. I mean, you put it like wow. that. Wow, wow! That's just that's simple. I, I wouldn't mind my. Okay, Taylor, you give her a hold little before, dad lip no, for the day. Before you say that, hold on. Yes. Before you say that, I, I, I am. I don't encourage, but if my if my baby mother beat my my daughters, I will understand it. Oh, if I had if I had my if, if I had sons, oh yeah, you getting popped, son. That's what I'm gonna say. If you wild out, you getting popped. Like yeah, my nigga, like you getting popped, bro. I don't like that. I, I think I'm not gonna ways, normalize. I think as an adult, it's other ways to communicate sure, with your children. Sure, but sometimes it's not. I don't if believe you had that. a son, you wouldn't you wouldn't like square him up or nothing like that. If he acted when he got up. older. When That's, he was like a grown person's age like, and he tried me, put your fucking hands up. If he's eight years up. old, you're not doing no. You're not going to pop him? him? No. He called you a bitch. You're not going to pop him? No. You lying like but that. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm not a saying... A white man I'm told saying you beat it. I'm not that he's not going to shake your hand and you told him yeah. suck your but dick. But I'm saying... If, <laughs> <laughs> you mean tell me if an eight-year-old tell you you call you a bitch. I just don't believe in beating my kids, so I'm not going to beat nobody we have else. But I hear that. Well, we beat daughters. We have daughters. Yeah. I, and I remember last time I told you, I'm not going to normalize a man putting his hands on you because you did something wrong. I'm I not going to normalize that. I agree. Now, if I you agree. are my son, I'm going to normalize that are consequences and repercussions to your actions. Mm. So, yeah, I might pop you. Yeah, you might get a three taps on the ass. I'm not going to wild out on you. But to think you're just going to be out here wilding and I'm not going to check that. I, I just feel like there was a better Kids way he could have said it. That's it. Nah, he shouldn't have said it. But he, he didn't. Just, I don't think he meant I'm it. Like I'm, I'm gonna beat your ass. Up. Like it was I just like about, I'm a, when he think gets about older. other people's kids. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just think it's so much other things you can do other than beat your kids. You can take stuff away from them. But now what happened when that don't work? You can ground. I thought you think grounding was some white people shit, but it's not. You put your fucking kid in that room and you make him make them. Nigga, sit there. You're, you're a millionaire, bro. Put your kid in a the room. They have it's, it's like a fucking mini. Now mode. when you take their TV and shit, oh, oh, oh. take everything. Oh, TV, now the phone, all that shit. All right, read a book. She likes reading. She does like reading. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I did true. that shit to that my kid. True. I came that's back. She read right. fifteen books. That I'm like, fuck. Oh, uh, God that's damn that's it! That's this that's isn't what I wanted you to do. I was on the phone with you. I said, <laughs> yeah, take your iPad back. Like she took. I said, yo, you're done. You are. Yo, you don't listen. You're done for the day. I said, go in your room and read. I came back two hours later. Nigga was done with like four <laughs> books, bro. I was like, all right, here's your. Yeah, do you have any other books? She was it's telling like, you oh, about shit that you did wrong. Actually, I read in this one that um, if you put me in a room by myself with five books, I will. I was tight. Yeah. I, was, I, I went in there. I started kicking over all kind of tea parties. <laughs> yeah, those, those are daughter. Those, those are daughters for you. <laughs> that is daughter for you, especially when you're a dad. There's no way to discipline your daughter. That's what I'm saying. You just gotta. So yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Sometimes I'd be like, I'd be looking at my big mom like, so you're not gonna pop on? So she's running the house. You oh, just what? not gonna. So you, just, you, gonna, you just not gonna. Oh, you gonna let that? You gonna let this ride? I'd be like, like, I, I be like, if that was me, if that was a boy, you so, know. That so was if me. it was if it was the other way around and she did that to. A stepmother, Ooh. and she scratched her. See what no, I'm saying? No, and when there's a woman on a, a how, woman how on a girl, no, nobody else can put your hands on my 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 kids. No, it maybe maybe what if, they, what if they raised them? Grandparents, grandparents, can. that's it. Blood grandparents. Man, can. I, 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 don't, I ain't talking about the in laws. Well, no, but they, that's what they I'm trying to say. They have this. Yeah, they they have, get, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're yeah. raised by somebody, your whole like from jump. Whoever raised you could put the hand. But that's they that child has basically been raised by him. Well, well, my, no, it has not. My situation She's the is youngest different. one, and he's been around for like three years. That baby's Nigga, not even. You don't raise. First of all, it, 
We don't know if the parents raised them fucking kids, let alone fact. the fucking grandparents. That so we don't know. Fact. We do and we don't. We don't know that nothing. My situation is totally different because I don't beat my kids. So being that I don't beat my kids, nobody beats my kids. Okay. You know Not even your wife? She might pop. Well, and, 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 I, I don't like the word beat. Like pop. Like, like, yes. yes. We got beaten. We got beat. Yeah, you but, might pop but the way he was, the way he was talking in my mind, it wasn't, I'm going to beat your kid's ass. It was like, I'm going to pop her. She scratched my face. I'm going to teach you what's right and what's wrong. I don't think that teaches you what's right and what's wrong. Oh, I just think that teaches you just to be scared that's, of your, that's, I just think that teaches you to be scared no, of physical but, no. but like I said in the what's other the, clip that I saw this morning, time, what, those kids do not in listen. This room, especially at least two of us, I know with some badass kids. The two over here. So, how's the only way you realize the oven was hot? I still got the burn. I put my hand on the fucking oven. I learned, I said, that shit hot. I don't like that. that I never hot, put my hand. That's hot, I'm Dad. Never, I'm never put that my hand back on that. In, that ain't stopped me from wilding out and getting in trouble. But it stopped me, it stopped me from I'm fucking putting that, that hand said, on I put the mittens on. I I'm still did what I was supposed I to do. I remember the last time my mom tried to beat me when I was like 17, uh, 18 yeah. years old. I had just got out of jail. No, I think I went back to jail for the second time. And she beat me as if, I'm selling crack now. Are you crazy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she can't beat me. And I left. Like, I left the house. Like, I'm out. So it's just like after, after a certain age, after last, certain age, the beatings get dumb anyway. The last two times my mom put her hands on me, I let it happen. Like, because I didn't want to, like, I knew I was strong enough to stop her. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, all right. Like, all right. Like, and then one, one, one slap just flew too hard. I was like, I got to get out of here. Lord have mercy. <laughs> she's going to put, she's going to, she's going to knock me out. <laughs> Like, it's one thing she pushing on you, hitting you. What yeah. you, you want to be a man? You know, women always do that. They, moms always do it. You want to be a man? Start punching in your chest. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, hurt. All right, mom. Then she slapped me. I was like, oh. Well, See, that's how you know well, you got well. no daddy in the house. Because I remember the time I, my mom was trying to beat me, and I kind of, like, grabbed her a little bit. Oh, no, my dad was at work. So when he came home, oh, I, I, okay, I, I, yes. got, I got, I got go. beat again. There you go. Because my I mom got was fucked like, up. Mom was like, you want to put your hands on me? Wait till your daddy come home. That's why I, oh. that's, that's why I said the last two. I just let hit it me happen. again. My phone, mom. Hit me again. Hit me back. Hit me back. Ma, come back. You want you want you want this one? <laughs> <laughs> you think you think anybody that's been disrespectful enough to tell their mom suck their dick? We just got talking. We white just got done talking about a white nigga killed his mom. Yeah, white people. Really? White I don't people. think black people do it. I don't think black. I think that is extreme. I don't think that's even in our minds. Nah. That's not even in like the the, the bag that's of the tricks. Even, like so many other things. Tight. We no, no, we no. think about it. We don't even slam doors no. as adults around our parents. Not at all. You think somebody, Not suck my dick, mom. Not oh, my God. And at Not that at age, if you really talking like that, you just, nah, I'm good. Black parents nah. can hear your thoughts, though. Oh, you might be thinking what you say. What you say? What you say? No. Yo, you be in your room. How did Maybe you your know? Name. What you say? How did you know? Everybody talk about this code switch and shit, right? It started with black parents. Because at when you at when you at school and you out with your people, <laughs> you a whole different yeah. motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> suck my dick. <laughs> Bitch, you know you're going to suck my dick. You get to you the get crib. Home. So, mom, I was actually exactly. thinking. Mom. Um, <laughs> um, they might say your teacher going called. On. Your teacher called. She said that you said suck it. Does mom, that even look, sound No, no, like you don't even get to say that. You just look. You just got to look. Your, your teacher said you, you was talking about your little dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when you say something wild, your parents are like, fix your face, boy. <laughs> fix your face. You can't. I, give you, I, I, hold you. I, I give you something been, to cry about. I give you something to cry about. Like, you didn't just, oh like, you didn't just whoop me. Yo, my, dad, you my dad snuffed me. What else you got? Like, I cried. What else you got? I remember one time. Yeah. In the world, though. Well, I, I give you something to cry. Like, I give you something to cry about. You I'm already crying. crying. Yeah. I'm already fucking crying. How many more tears do you want to see? Here you go. Here you go. My parents, when we was living on Long Island, we lived in this place like real fast, a little hood called Amityville. Oh yeah, it was that's it, my dad like the horror, yeah. like so, the horror. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. Like it's just as bad it as from where I'm from. Yeah. So it's like we had this Lego table. My mom went out her way to buy me this Lego table. It's just a whole table. The whole plate is just Legos. You could just build on it. So it was right next to where the lamp is. My mom felt like kids don't, shouldn't be controlling when the lights is on or off. So she put the lamp on top of the entertainment system. So I'm mad. So I can't get to it. I got to stand on the table. She said, "Don't stand on that table." I said, "All right." I'm doing stand on the table. The shit break. It's plastic. I'm all cut up. I'm laying in the middle, all fucked up. She coming in. Did I tell you not to lay on that? I say, yeah. She's like, I'm thinking she about to come be a mom. So, oh my god. She walk out the room, come back with a belt. I said, nigga, this is some of the. I'm already up. I'm fucked up. And she tried to take the pain away from you. She tried to beat it away. Which is so crazy because the lesson has already been taught. 
Yeah. You hurt yourself. So nah, therefore one more, one you know lesson. why your mom told you not to lay on. Here's another I learned, lesson. I learned the other lesson. That if you if you hurt yourself crazy. and I told you <laughs> no <laughs> do it, I'm gonna beat you up again. Women will take uh, any opportunity to kick you when you're down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, man. Tell them where they can listen to this uh I started to say the guys we fuck podcast. The guys what? Talk. <laughs> we're a way better podcast than them. This <laughs> a podcast on girls. What is it called? Guys, guys we fucked. fucked. Yeah, we're a way better podcast. Yeah, make sure you follow the Guys Next Door podcast hey. on Instagram, Guys Next Door uh-huh. underscore. Yes, make sure you uh, join in the conversation on, on Twitter, Twitter using the hashtag. We're not, get, we're not getting to Twitter. Guys Next Door, definitely not getting to Twitter. It's nasty world out there. Yep. And you can follow me at Mouse underscore Jones on Instagram, Mac Wilds on Instagram, Fly Ryan on Instagram. Shout out to Charlemagne for always uh, creating appreciate a platform you, and, and, and reaching back for the young fact. niggas. And yes, I appreciate sir. Charlemagne for being three years clean. I, I, Come on, yeah, sir. That's right, baby. Come on, sir. Three years clean. Come on, sir. Hey, hey, you got to oh, you gotta, you gotta give it. You got to give it. Credit when it's due. Yo, how, do you you celebrate, it's due how do you celebrate three years clean, though? Like, how do you celebrate three years not cheating? You can't go to the strip club. I just I just, I just, I just look back. Yo, this nigga said strip club. See, that's because he half white. Nah, I don't go to the strip club. Yo, he half white. No. He trying to set you up. I just enjoy it. It's just a good It's just a good feeling to look around and know that you're doing the right thing. What's the best feeling? What's the best feeling about not cheating? Just guilt free. Leaving the phone like this. It's it's old free. No anxiety. My shit right now is you'll never hear my phone ring. See what I'm saying? You'll never see nothing. It's just, I can do that too. As a person that suffers from anxiety, no anxiety. I don't got to make up no lies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can pick up the phone anywhere. Yo, when you was cheating, did you ever feel like, <laughs> like if you fucked Don't a bring girl, him back to that place. Not, don't bring yeah, him back let's, to let's that come place. back. Like when you, when you was fucking a girl, like did you ever feel like, damn, I fucked her too good. Now you got to go home and double up on your girl? Never felt that way. <laughs> That's I what I would feel like. I feel like, damn, I can't. That fucker too good? Damn, now I got to go fucking put it back. I never work. felt that way. It's impossible. I was wearing condoms. Great yeah. fuck. That's, that's a fact. Yeah, that is a fact. Kind of dick can only butt feel so that's good. That's it. Yeah. 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 See that's the a shirt. Cr- <laughs> <laughs> What are those condoms? Absolutely. Hey. Not the ones I wear, you know. But the, the, the ones I wear. Which ones? The big ones. They don't pay me. They don't pay me. The big ones. But the. But the Yo, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get out of here before it goes any more left. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Now, listen, man, uh, salute to e-cigs, blue e-cigs, all right? Got to tell you, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical, not for sale to minors, okay? Satisfying yet simple. No fuss with refilling liquids. Just choose from a range of flavors, pop in a liquid pod, and My Blue goes with you all day. Find My Blue in a store near you or order online, myblue.com. Website restricted to adults 21 and over.